I'm ready now. I'm ready for some inscription. Inscript me into the, your service game. Is inscription a word? I feel like it is. Spell it with an I instead of a Y. L. Oh, right, there you go. We probably did that for SEO purposes. I'm going to click on this. Daniel Mullins. Okay. Time to figure out what's on this thing. I just watched a Dune movie today. Thought it was okay. I think there's just too much going on that isn't spoken for them to translate Dune well. Hmm. Hmm. Nah, that's never stopped anybody, though, you know. <laughs> Do you think it's a film that's like benefits greatly from you having read the book? Basically, like your enjoyment of it goes up probably more if you've read the book, or maybe less. I don't. Maybe that's why. Maybe that's why they they it's this 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 one's built that way. They were like, oh shit. Oh oh, what the you like? Oh, that's kind of a weird. <laughs> that's a really strange UI. It's mad. I most book is better if you haven't read the books. I don't know, I feel like sometimes it... Yeah, I don't know. Friends said he enjoyed Dune and also that he doesn't really hold your hand if you haven't read the books. So they, they don't try to explain tons of stuff. There's so much of the book, there's internal dialogue and what the characters are seeing with like supernaturally good perception. Ah, okay. It must be really hard to like, when you're right, when you like ad ad adapting it for screen and being like, fuck, how the hell am I going to do this? I don't even have new game as an option. <laughs> That's weird. I can do continue apparently. I love the like old UI. I love I love the the style they've gone for. Another challenger. It's been ages. That's a creepy eye. Perhaps you've forgotten how this game is played. I mean to remind you. Play the squirrel card. Okay. Now play your stoat. Cost stoats cost one blood. Sacrifices must be made. An horrible death. Play the stoat. Alright, put the stoat down. And those eyes are freaky, man. They're weird. Walls require two sacrifices. You don't have enough. Ring the bell to end your turn and commence combat. Your stout stands unopposed. The number on the bottom left is the attack power. Bike <laughs> roll. Mm 
Um, Stoke dealt me one damage. I added it to the scale. You win if you tip my side all the way down. Like this. Ooh, that hand is creepy as shit. <laughs> I play my squirrel in attack mode. I then sacrifice squirrel to release stoked. <laughs> I just love saying shit like that. The stoat sounds in the way of my coyote. Okay. Yeah, I think this game was inspired by Hands of Fate. I wouldn't be surprised. And they were like, ooh, Hands of Fate is cool. What if we made that as a basis and then just kind of do our thing? I mean, I love, I honestly love the eight. I think Hands of Fate is a really cool idea, but unfortunately, like, a lot of the combat is just not that great. It's like super cool idea, not super well implemented. <laughs> but still fun, but like it could be way better. Could he dealt two damage to your stoat? Okay. That means your stoat's health is two less. Yes. If a creature's health reaches zero, it dies. Yes, okay. My turn again. You may draw from your deck, or you may draw a squirrel. I'll draw a squirrel. How dull. So I will play a squirrel in defense mode. I then sacrifice the squirrel and the stoat in order to summon Wolf. <laughs> Fear not, the beast of sacrifice will not remove from your deck. Your suffering was real, but you will see it again. <laughs> I then play Wolf in attack mode. Which I realize now is a bad idea, because now I can't... <laughs> <laughs> because I've just put it there and it'll die anyway. So I can't. I can only draw. Right, let's ring the bell. Oh no no! Oh, I attack first, do I? Because you are learning, I will pass. But again, the choice: a random card from your deck or the certainty of a squirrel. I'll take a random card. The river snapper. You're lacking it, right? So I need more squirrels. How damage dealt? Free weights on the scale. Pass. Put a squirrel down. Can I summon, like, what's, what does a river snapper have? It's got six health. I, su I, I then t toss the squirrel and the wolf into the graveyard and summon river snapper in defense mode. River Snapper has six health and one damage. River Snapper also allows me to take all your clothes and date your sister. What? <laughs> I don't remember seeing that bit on the card. <laughs> I just spent a lot of time with uh, the fate. Yeah. You've won this match. They won't all be this so easy. I mean, maybe I should do it like you know. You, you won this. this wait. Oh, oh, I have the, the goofy, goofy voice. On. You won this match. Oh. <laughs> you. I, I can't, can't um, um hmm. hang on. Let, Let me, me just, just one second. Can't, can't make you, you hear me. me. I can't make you hear me, just I can't make you hear the voice and not me. It's very annoying. I used to be able to do that, but now I can't. I don't know why. It's like a, there was, um, like I used to be able to just have me muted, but have the voice, but now like, 
I can't do that anymore. I don't know why. Maybe, maybe this? Oh, well, who knows? They won't be all so easy. They won't all be so easy. <laughs> they won't all be. They won't all be so easy. Let me recall your, your story. story. Oh, yes. yes. You were lost deep, deep in the forest. forest. Single path from the only chance. You know, I'm not going to do that because I'll just be cutting between them all day. Single path revealed itself. Now this is very kinda <laughs> thingy. Two two very hands of fate. Uh hey Scalagrim, how's it going? Good to say ya. Two denizens of the forest approach you tentatively. The caustic adder, damage from its poison bite is always lethal. And the undying cat. <laughs> Sacrificing the poor beast does not kill it. Oh yeah, look, it's got undying, the undying cat. Only one may grace your paltry deck. I'd like the undying cat, please. When a cat bearing the sigil is sacrificed, it does not perish. Touch of death. When a card bearing the sigil damages another creature, that creature perishes. Oh. That's pretty good. I think I'll take the cat. I want the undying cat. Another ch creature joins your caravan. Some of the, some of the creatures of the forest seemed willing to follow you. See you, Blade of Blast. You came across an abandoned sack. You found a squirrel in a bottle. Break in case of emergency. What? You can have a second. And another useful implement. It'll allow you to tip the scales with it. Is it a plier? Free is as much as you can get. Well, I've been given two squirrels and a bottle and a set of pliers. What the fuck? What is this game? It's called Inscription. It's some kind of... Uh, I don't really know anything about it. <laughs> I've seen a trailer for it, and it looked mad. It seems to be starts off as a card game, but I imagine knowing how knowing the other games this guy's made, that I have a feeling it's gonna end up as a very weird meta thing that is not quite as it seems. Got a pair of pliers though. You were ambushed while crossing some rough terrain. <laughs> you sacrificed me while I was sleeping. It was the right play. I get it. Maybe you'll help me. <laughs> what the fuck? Why is it talking to me? Play along for now. What the fuck? You may now see my moves ahead of time. Wolf Club. Fledgling. A card bearing the sigil will grow into a more powerful form after one turn on the board. Interesting. Is this from the Pony Island dev? Yes, it is. All right, let's let's put the uh, squirrel down. And let's put the cat down. I oh, have to sacrifice the cat. Okay, well, we'll put the cat down by here then. And then we'll sacrifice the cat and play the stoat. Here we go. <laughs> And then I and I will play. I will not say. I will. I will. Uh, I will end my turn. Okay, we got one on there. Okay, the bat's coming down right. So he has to destroy the boulder. Mind the ambitious wolf club. It ages swiftly. Um, let's take a wolf. Okay. Um, what are you putting down the bat? Gonna, not gonna kill actually. That's what, what does that do? Card bearing the sigil will strike an opponent directly, even if there's a creature opposing it. Oh, okay, that's a little terrifying. Um, I won't sacrifice the stout for now. 
It's not my turn. The bomb bat flies over creatures that attack directly. My ha, my bat flew right over your stout. Okay, so I'm gonna put a I'm gonna grab a squirrel. I'm gonna put a squirrel down. Then I'm gonna sacrifice a squirrel and a cat in order to play wolf in attack mode. But the cat will stay on the board because it has, it has eternal life. But wait! The wolf will stay on the board because it has eternal life. I therefore play wolf on the board. <laughs> Is that bottle opener on my desk? The bottle opener and scale in one? Could be. Oh, this thing. No, this is a plier. To the user, you will place a weight on the scales. The pain is temporary. Interesting. A card bearing this will block an opposing creature's bearing an airborne signal. Interesting. Okay. Um, I think we'll just leave it for now. Ah, another wolf. Uh, okay. I think we will play the river snapper by sacrificing the cat and the stout. Wow, seriously? <laughs> the stout can play again. I'm going to put you there because you'll be able to take a hit from the wolf. So that's fine. An emergency squirrel. Use a squirrel is created in your hand. A squirrel is defined as zero power, one health. Okay, so we could, we could play that, but I think I'm okay for now. Okay, we'll get a squirrel out, and we'll put it down. We then sacrifice the cat and the squirrel in order to play the wolf. And then we have two wolves on the field. And you're done, buddy. <laughs> you prevailed and tricked and trekked onwards past the, na the now bloody terrain. Yeah. It's a young wolf club. It grows into a wolf after a single turn. Ah, see, so the, the benefit of that is that it doesn't require two sacrifices to play. And we'll turn into a wolf. The sparrow. A meek sparrow. An inexpensive, if feeble flying creature. Hmm. I think I'd like to take the flying one because I don't have airborne yet. Fuck. You stumbled into some strange stones in the mist. You were compelled to choose a worthy sacrifice, one that would be lost forever. Oh, I like the cat, so I'll, uh, I'll, I'll get rid of the sparrow. <laughs> Bye! What? Pick me! You want to be sacrificed? I'll go. Okay. You guys, so you, so you have to sacrifice two, do you? Ah, oh, interesting. That's me. <laughs> Why do you want to go? All right, well, I'll put you in there then. What an honor. Whoa. A ghastly spectacle, but the soul of the sparrow now lives in the stoat. Oh, so he's gained flying? So now he's like a flying stoat? Behold my totem. Oh god. It inscribes my canine cards with the airborne sigil. He's completely insane. You see that, right? No care for the rules? Pathetic, really. Enough! Only keeps me around to watch me suffer. Oh yeah, I should have given him the fucking the cat, yeah. 
So what what is what has he got? So all of his walls have got airborne. That's mad. Card bring the sigil will strike an opponent directly, even if there's a creature. So that's got two. Okay, so we've got to get some shit down then. Um, let's put the squirrel down, and then we'll sacrifice the squirrel to get the stow out. Um, put it there. Back on the board. Could possibly plonk down two squirrels as well. I'm gonna take an emergency squirrel and I'm gonna put it there. And I'm gonna keep it till next turn. My totem was granted my coyote the power of flight. How come he gets a totem? He just he just picks a totem and just shoves it down. Uh, okay. Right. Oh, good lord, that did so many to me. Uh, I guess we will... put you down. And then... Okay. Uh oh. <laughs> How are you not dead yet? Oh, because they're not hitting each other. Oh, that was why. Because they're not hitting each other. Oh, because she's flying, so you're not actually going to hit. Right. Okay, I get you. Now draw a car first. Okay. The cat. What's this do? Easy. This you will place, you will place a weight on the scales. The pain is temporary. Oh, whoops. Oh God, Jesus! Did I just pull one of my teeth out? A well-earned point of damage. I didn't think you'd really do it. Jesus Christ! She yanked my teeth out. Sacrifice for the cat, do we? Oh, okay. You're four damage away from winning. Okay, so let's sacrifice that so we can put the cat down. Get the emergency squirrel out, put that there, and then do that, plunk you down. Okay. We're getting there. It's a lot of teeth, so those are like just teeth getting plunked down then. The wolf again. Well, not much I can do right now. There we go, do we win? We won! Yeah, I, I didn't notice the ways with teeth. Impressive! You may yet survive this ordeal. Knock on wood. That's sort of fake wood. Oh, this is real wood. You know, I did it. I knocked on wood. Hello? Anyone there? <laughs> Hello? What we got? Flighty elk. It moves before attacking. Oh. At the end of owner's turns, a card bearing the sigil will move in the direction inscribed in the sigil. Huh. An orny, ornery porcupine. Sharp quills await those who dare attack it. So I'm guessing that's like spike damage. Once a once a card bearing the sigil is struck, the striker is then dealt a single. Yeah. That makes sense. Con conniving raven, a blight upon the skies. And he's just flying, right? Airborne, okay. Um, I 
think we will... I like how squirrels are like the main currency in this. You just you put a squirrel down, sacrifice it so you can pull out one of the other creatures. Um, I guess we'll... I mean, I kind of like the fact that elk moves. That's pretty fun. I like the flying raven. I think we'll... Uh, we'll go over the, uh, the horny porcupine. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think we'll, I think we'll go with the raven actually. No, we'll go with the porcupine because it only takes one sacrifice to bring it back. Okay. Um, I guess the campfire. You came across a small group of survivors. Faces shrunken from starvation, they huddled around a campfire. They looked upon your group of creatures and beckoned. Come, warm one, of you, warm one of your creatures by the fire, one said. Warm it by the fire that will enhance its power, said another. You notice one of the survivors wiping drool from their mouth. Hmm. We'll see what happens if we... Let's see what happens with this. Does it make it more powerful? The fire warmed the porcupine, enhancing its power. One of the survivors reached towards it. Another chased, another gnashed their teeth. Without a word, you pulled the porcupine away from the fire and left. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, Pony Island and Hex. I haven't played either of those. Might have to after this, though. I quite like this so far. There's a way out for both of us. It's somewhere in this foul cabin. Be silent or I will tear you to shreds. Interesting. So what are these? Grand fear. Card bearing the sigil will block an opposing creature's bearing an airborne sigil. Oh, that's handy. Okay, let's get... Fucking hell, it's a grizzly, Christ. Four damage, six health. That is not nice. I just want to block it from attacking us for now. A thorny rebuke. Hmm. Well, I need a squirrel out. Spot, you sure? No, not anymore. I mean, I'm in a bit of trouble here because that wall, that bear is gonna fucking destroy me. Oh god, there's so many grizzlies. Holy shit. There's so many grizzlies! Oh no, there's nothing I can do. That was, that was bugger, there was nothing I could do there, that was mad. You've lost. Using this as a learning opportunity may be the only way to mitigate my disappointment. Get up. Get up from the table. Fetch me the candlestick from atop the barrel beside the door. Oh. A 
press it back down. Let me explain something to you. That was one of the two mistakes you can make here. If you make another, I must sacrifice you. Now, where were we? Oh, okay. <laughs> Watchful bullfrog. It leaps in the way of attacking flyers. The elk. Hmm. Bullfrog would be handy. Group of starving survivors stand around a campfire. There is room for a creature around the fire, one said. The warmth will enhance its health. One of the survivors said nothing at all but could not stop licking their lips. No way. <laughs> enhance its health. Okay. The health of the bullfrog was enhanced by the warmth. As one of the survivors began pulling a knife from their pocket, you withdrew. Or withdrew. Oh god. The trees seemed to close in around you as a chill mist descended. In the distance you could hear the clinking of metal on stone. A hooded a hobbled figure stood in your path. Hee ha! Twas the prospector. Let's put on a freaky mask, okay. Okay. What has he got? Pack mule. At the end of the end, turn the car around to remove the case. It's got hell. And the coyote. Uh, okay, so I guess we're gonna have to put down a squirrel. And then we'll do the porcupine, I guess. Space would be struck, a card bearing the sigil will move to that space to receive the strike instead. Oh, okay. Okay, sacrifice the squirrels. Plonk that down here. Take a card out. It's the cat.
music here is creepy. Oh god, what the heck? Whoa! Dad damn it, my mule! <laughs> Dad damn it, you did my mule! Okay, uh, right. Okay, that's handy. So if we put. Oh, we need to draw a card, okay. So if we put the squirrel down, and then sacrifice the squirrel and the cat with the elk, that should work. Can we put a squirrel down, and then we sacrifice the squirrel and the Oh, for, for this, it's for the sparrow. Ah, uh, I hope you didn't think I would make it that easy. Ah, <laughs> uh, there's gold in them cards. Oh my God, what? What? What are these rules? Good gold, I struck gold. They taste yee-haw! Get him! Interesting. When an opposing creature is placed opposite to an empty space, a card bearing the sigil will move to that empty space. Oh. I'm supposed to win this now. <laughs> it's gonna fucking destroy me. Yeah, I was just like, I'm screwed. More gold for me. Oh. aren't dead yet. This isn't purgatory. But you may think of it that way. Before you expire, I must ask you a favor. I would like a memento. Your very own death card. It's quite plain at the moment, isn't it? We will work together to amend that. I want this to be the perfect memento of you. Here are some cards from your mediocre deck. We can put them to good use. Please use a card to draw the cost from. Cost of one blood from the bullfrog. And another. This time I'll use its power and health. The numbers. Okay. Three power and two health. Now choose a card from which we'll extract the sigils. How about infinite? Sigil of many lives from the cat. I never did ask for you for your name. Oh, I'm Mirby. There is now but one final matter. The portrait. Are you ready? You do not need to smile. Here we go again. Another challenger. Perhaps it is time. Perhaps you can understand bones. 
A resourceful opossum costs two bones. You gain a bone when one of your creatures perishes for any reason. Okay. So we're gonna put the squirrel. What's what's his thing? The rattler. It's got free damage on it. Okay, so we're putting the squirrel down. And we're gonna sacrifice that for the stoat. Plonk him right there. From the death of your creature, you've gained a bone. You will not lose this until it is spent or the battle ends. Okay, so I can't afford to bring you yet because I'm lacking the bones. Okay, so that's fine. Um, I guess we'll get a squirrel. So that's 1 1. Okay. So we can use the bones then to summon a, a possum. We can put a squirrel down. And then we can sacrifice both of those for a wolf. But I don't think I will. Not yet. Not yet. Um, let's, uh, let's put you down. The bullfrog. Okay. Uh... Sacrifice the squirrel for the bullfrog. And then we put a squirrel down, and we'll plonk you down there. And then we will... Sacrifice the wall... No. Never mind. I'm gonna do nothing. Should be okay if I just keep doing this. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> just keep playing that. All right, fantastic. Oh, I forgot your figurine. Get up and fetch it for me. It's besides this safe. What the fuck was that? Was that like a hand then? Are these the things that made my person, maybe? He's quite freaky, that guy. Let us continue. Mega coyote, but what did you expect for only four bones? Four bones. The nefarious rattler, a brittle creature, one past its monstrous fangs. Once past its monstrous fangs. Six bones? Christ. The unkillable cockroach. It returns to your hand after dying. When a card bearing the sigil perishes, a copy of it's created in your hand. Oh, give me the cockroach, man. I'll, I'll take the undying cockroach from my deck. You know, you're free to get up again. To keep your blood flowing. I'm no tyrant. You may stand whenever the map is unrolled. It allows me time to plan your next encounter. But do keep your hands off my possessions. Immediately starts touching the thing. Oh. Hmm. 
Okay. Okay. Yeah, these bone cards aren't great, are they? All right, let's go to the next one. If bleeding, it's bleeding yields free blood. If you can ignore the bleeding. Black code. Choose one. Feeling overburdened enough with a full free items you carried on? You carried on, sorry. You carried on? <laughs> you carried on. So, what if he? What's he doing? The wolf cub. Okay. Who is freaky little hand putting down weed? Oh, put the bullfrog down. Do you use a black goat is created in your hand? A black goat is defined as zero power, one health. Worthy sacrifice. And gives you free blood. Huh, okay. Okay, so the bullfrog will kill that, which is great. Put the squirrel down, and then I guess that's all we can do. An alpha. Leader, creatures adjacent to a card bearing the sigil gain one power. Oh. Are you smart or something? He usually doesn't even bother teaching about bones. All right, here's a tip. I saw a past victim uh, writing a passcode in the rule book. Oh yeah, look, two free seven. Two seven free. There's so many pages. Sigil will be equal to the number of ants the owner has on their side of the table. What the fuck is this rule? Mirror room something. Bell ring. Card count. You may draw boon of the appendectrous. You may draw twice at the beginning of your turn. Boon of the magpie's eye. When you draw your from your deck, you may choose any card in your deck to draw. Boon of the goat's blood. You will start a battle with a black goat on the board. Boon of the forest. Boon of the bone lords. Minor boon of the bone lords. Harpy's bird leg fan. Jeez, you may cut off, cut up one of your adversary's cards. It is destroyed. Hmm. Is it two seven free? Seven free, okay. All right, uh, let's. Put down the opossum. Okay. <laughs> okay. And, um,. Scroll and a possum, put you down. There we go. How brutal of you. What is that? How brutal of you. You dealt me more damage than you needed to win. However, in my game, such feats are rewarded. To be precise, a tooth to keep for each extra damage dealt. 
The trapper may be interested in your spoils. Oh, hello. I wasn't sure if I would ever escape that iron crypt. Is the, is the stoat around? <laughs> the stunned wolf? This madness must end. Put that away. I don't think he's gonna be happy if I start opening that up though. Play a game. The Proud Wolf, a vicious contender. Milby, it's me! The inev in invi inviolable beehive. When it's attacked, it will draw a bee. Oh, let's, let's get me, shall we? The warm light of a campfire was a welcome sight, though the ten hungry eyes around it dampened the greeting. Warm a creature by the fire and enhance its power? <laughs> Pick something else. Oh. Uh, okay, well if we put, um... The Undying Cockroach in, perhaps? <laughs> nope, do what you must. There we go. The survivors were right about the flames. They had enhanced the creature's power. Spawning a few of the survivors drooling, you made a hasty retreat with your cockroach. Man, they really wanted that cockroach, didn't they? What you're picking yourself can't possibly go wrong. Yeah. You again. Indeed! Our friend freed me! Oh, well, I basically told them how to do it. You got a plan? We have another friend here. You gotta be. I wouldn't call him a friend, but I suppose we are in deep this time. Okay. Put the scroll down. Put the stoat down. Total misplay. Uh, excuse me? He'll die and you'll live. Not a misplay. Don't you dare. Ow. Yeah, I looked at the rule book. Uh. You. The possum. Okay. Um. Okay, we should kill him before the alpha before he gets a chance to power him up, so that's good. Ah, son of a bitch. What does that one do? This creature opposing the creature opposing a card bearing the sigil loses one power. That's handy. Back in the game. Uh, right. So if I pull a squirrel out, put that down. Sacrifice a squirrel. Get out the bullfrog. We should kill them both. Because it doesn't. Unlike other. Of these kind of games, it doesn't. The attacks don't occur on both sides, so it's like we go first, then they go. And then we can also pull out an opossum. I pull out opossum in attack mode. A wolf. Okay. I 
think we got this. Wonder what happens if I take this key over here. Free, one free, one free. The skink. I forgot that I had put that in here. Very well, you may add it to your deck, and I'll deal with you one every so often. The skink. What's this one? That just can't move. Oh. What? So why did that work? Two, one, one, three, one, three. So like overall equal? No, it wouldn't make any sense. Saying those two are in the right place? Work ant. Formidable creatures, those ants. Very well. I will add them to your deck and make them available for future challenges. So why is that working? 2-1-1-3-1-3. One, one, Maybe it's to do with the attacking? Bring boxes in chat. 
I know what it is. I knew it from the start. I knew it before I even began the game. Curious. Well, I appear to be able to brute force him, so I'll just keep doing that. I think it's like we're playing like a game, but I have some super duper guy. I think I think knowing these is probably quite important as well. A cookie. All right, so I'm pretty sure. Right, let me let me look see if these ones I've sold. All right, so let's look at this one. Is this is sold. But why is this sold? So this is our deck. That's attacking up. That's attacking down. That's from the top. Okay, I think, I think I get it. We're basically like playing a little mini game, so we win. We do five damage there. We do five damage here.
we do... For some reason, we do five damage there. I think I need to know what the ant rules. I can't remember what the ant rules are. I think it was for every ant you have on your side, you gain, like, points or something like that. I represent with a sigil, maybe you must will be equal to the number of ants that the owner has on their side of the table. Which isn't even handy. Um, okay. So this guy, so that with that we're attacking, I think that attacks like in both those directions. How to the sigil strike each opposing space to the left and right of the space across from it. So that would hit there and there. Let me get that there. Without having met her, this wood carving is meaningless. In time, you will understand its power. So the reason we won that is because we did one damage there. And then one damage there. Because we didn't do any damage there. We did one, two, three, four, five. I kind of get it, but it's also kind of weird. Like, I, I, I do get it in a weird way, but, like, not entirely, do you know? Like, I think I kind of understand it. Okay. Let's do that one. Say, choose not a specific beast, but decide the cost that you wish to pay. Take three. The regal moose, the creatures of the wild will make way for it. Ooh. A random card of a cost of three. What were you expecting? At the end of the owner's turn, a card bearing the sigil will move. In the direction inscribed with the sigil. Okay. Creatures in the way will be pushed in the same direction. Oh, so this is like the other one, but they can push them. And this takes free sacrifices to pull out, though. It's a hefty boy. All right. To here. All right. I got it. I got it. Enhance its power. Okay. Please no. Um. <laughs> I would like to increase the power of you. Stink bug enhances power. You suspected the intention of the survivors were less than pure. With your stink bugging toe, you retreat into the wood. I'm waiting for that to fail at some point and get eaten. <laughs> They'll just turn around and eat me or eat my friend. Okay, so what have we got? Two sparrows, right. Got a worker ant. So that's, the damage of that is going to go up for each ant we have on the board. All right, uh, let's stick down a squirrel. And then we'll sacrifice the squirrel and pull out a milby. All right, milby is now on the board. With milby on the board, I can use cow carousel. All right, I, I keep thinking of that. <laughs> I, keep, I, keep, I just keep thinking of that fucking video all the time. I sacrifice all my cows to summon cow carousel. <laughs> Places it in moo murder mode. Alright, so that's gonna get Uh Let's pull out a squirrel again. Put that down, and we'll sacrifice that, and summon the worker ant, and then we will play. Did I neglect to mention overkill damage? 
Oh. This guy just keeps adding in rules. Excess damage is not wasted. It carries over to the card behind the mangled corpse of the victim. <laughs> lovely, lovely way to put it. Lucky for you. Oh man, this guy just, he, he, honestly, he just, he just randomly shoves him in. That's from ProZD, yeah. Stink, a skink. Loose tail. When a card bearing the sigil would be struck, a tail is created in its place, and a card bearing the sigil moves to the right. Interesting. Alright, um, we've got summon a squirrel. Place the squirrel down in defense mode. Sacrifice the squirrel to make way for the skink. The skink has 12 hit points and can just win me the game for no reason. Go skink. It's your birthday. What is that? Looks like a bear trap. You were stopped along the way by a trapper looking to liquidate his pelts. It was something uncanny about his appearance, but you were quickly distracted by his ways. Care to look at my pelts? Take a pelt free of charge. See the quality? Rabbit pelt. Thank you. You're leaving already? Please consider me pelts! One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Uh, a golden pelt. Alright, why not? So thanks for your business. <laughs> what are you buying? <laughs> Why don't you buy one of me pelts? <laughs> Thank you. The man assured you of the value of the pelts. They appear to be useless in a fight. But he mentioned that the trap of favor down the path would reward you for them. A trader, sorry. Cackling fire lit the face of survivors. We have not f we have not food, one said. But perhaps one of your creatures will join us. Enhance its health, said another. I'm still waiting for it to happen. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> uh alright, let's see. Uh the ant queen. Alright, let's see. I'm still still waiting. I'm still waiting for the for this to fall apart on me. Fires were right about the flames. They had enhanced the creature's health. <coughs> what, oh, kid? One bar pelt. <laughs> what? Why did that go out? My boss battles are high stakes tests of your aptitude. With one flame, you will either overcome them or die. Fear not. I will let you keep the smoke. Oh, God. Whoa, what? <laughs> Smoke's a card? The incessant clank clank clanking reverberated between your ears. The path ahead was blocked by a grotesque figure. <gasps> it's me, twas the prospector, he he. The Bone King. When a card bearing this sigil dies, four bones are awarded instead of one. Damn, the Bone King. All right, we're sticking the smoke down. Got some bones. Um, we'll also place down the squirrel, which we will then sacrifice in order to create the worker ant, and that will end my turn. Or perhaps I could summon the moose buck. I could maybe use the black goat and summon moose buck. I'm going to I'm going to create the black goat. Which I will sacrifice with the smoke. So many bones. And then I will place down the black goat. Which I will then s sacrifice to bring out Moose Buck. <laughs> Moose Buck is an incredibly powerful creature that I've now placed down on the board. I then summon Cockroach. And my board is filled.
<laughs> I use bloat goat to summon moose buck. <laughs> That's gold? No, wait, I forgot. Oh, shit. <laughs> I forgot that he did that. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Oh, yeah, the cockroach comes back. Well, I got the cockroach back. Gold, I've struck gold. All right, this caged wolf. Six health. Okay. Get him. Okay, we're gonna plant some more cards. Hopefully, we can get some good stuff here. Uh, so that's. All right, let's put the cockroach down. Because the cockroach will just keep coming back, so that's fine. I want you to play a card before you draw a new one. Oh, okay. Golden pelt. Right, cockroach down again. Beautiful. Scroll down. The buff moose. My moose. My beautiful moose. I got so excited about summoning the moose, I didn't even think about like the long-term effects of it. <laughs> I, was, I wasn't thinking very far ahead. Draw a card. All right, we're gonna put the opossum down. I then sacrifice the opossum to summon the caged wolf. Uh, let's let's put uh, you down. All right. I sacrifice the opossum and cockroach, bringing the cockroach back into my hand, and I summon the caged wolf. I also place down the squirrel and sacrifice the squirrel immediately to play the bullfrog, and that ends my turn. <laughs> There's an unnecessary amount of things I did there. Just wanted to pull the cage wall. Off. You know when you like teabag. You know when you like you could win. You're like, dude, you could just win. You don't have to do this as well. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna. I need to. I need to. I need to stop for a moment, and I need to show you all. I. Some of you have probably seen this one. Most of you probably have. I have to like, I have to show you the video I keep referencing all the time because it's very funny. All right, my turn. I play a farmland card. I tap it for one mana so I can play Dairy Cow because Dairy Cow is a grazing type and I have greenest grass in play. I get five milk counters on her which attracts Raging Bull from my hand. Raging Bull so has good. 10 attack but I can sell the five milk counters to the grocery store that I have on my side of the field for 15 This is the, this is what I keep I referencing whenever I'm saying that stuff and that lets me play big gun. I give my raging bull a big gun and now he has 20 attack. Okay, so you win. Now you might say, "Hold on a second. You also, hello uh Chica Destroyer and, and Arid Murray. How, How do you say your name? Possibly afford to bring the milk counters to the grocery store. How you ask? You're just saying things now. Because I have a good work ethic card in my hand. I play it, and Dairy Driver gets a raise, which means he can afford all the toll gates. Okay. With the extra dairy dollars my Dairy Driver has, I invest in and play a Cheese Factory. The Cheese Factory creates one cheese per turn, so I look at the top five cards of my deck, and here we go. The Black Bree. I don't think that card's even legal anymore. Black Bree gets served <laughs> and I receive three colorless cheese chakra. With three colorless cheese chakra, I can tap my cheese factory three more times and now I've done a tap somersault. With a somersaulting cheese factory, I can create triple the cheese output and get nine cheese chakra. I'm gonna go get lunch. Do you want anything? No, I'm good. I'll be back in like 30 minutes. Good. That's how long I'll need to set up. The cheese tasting phase. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> this video is sponsored by Magic. Uh, there's another one as well, but I, I won't play that for now. I really love that video. I think it's so funny. There's another one where he like summons cows and sacrifices them and turns them into Moo Murder mode and shit. It's very, it's very, very funny. 
Uh. <laughs> I don't think that's even legal. <laughs> I don't know if you're allowed to do that. Uh, allow me to light your candles once more. I won't be killing you quite yet. Okay. Right, we've been the miner. You're the first in a while to overcome a boss. As a reward, you are granted an opportunity to select a rare card. Choose carefully. Oh boy. A largely unimpressive specimen, the strange lava. Okay, but that'll, so that'll grow more powerful. Ooh, okay. The Mole Man, a stalwart Mole Man, the ultimate defense. The burrower. So he's got a burrower and the anti-flight thing. And the gek. The uninspiring gek. Perhaps you can find a use for it. I mean, it's actually quite handy, that. That's like a no-cost sacrifice card. But it has a bit of damage on it. I, I honestly, I think I, think I kind of want the strange lava, because I want to know what it becomes, to be honest with you. Because I'm curious what uh, what what the strange lava actually transforms into. It could be something amazing. Don't super want the mole man. I mean, the mole man is certainly like very handy for defensive purposes. You just saw the cow murder mode vid. It's so good, isn't it, Captain? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I think I'm gonna take the strange lava. No, I don't want that one, I want the gag. Take the strange lava. Okay, we've done it, we've beaten the first one. With the sound of the prospector's pickaxe still ringing in your ears, you carried onwards. Hmm. The rank smell of rotten mold permeated the humid air. Every step forward was answered by some nearby slip or sliver. You, tra you tread cautiously into the wetlands. I noticed, I just noticed by the way, that there's a, um, there's a thing now that poke, poke, that lets me know if people have, for the first time have chatted in the stream. I didn't notice it before, I thought it was something else. But uh, yes, it, like points out if the first time they've talked from my. I don't think any. I don't think anyone else can see it, but I think I can. Like if they've ever talked in the stream before, so I'm like, oh, give them what you get. I got to lavish attention on you, you see, so that you feel loved, and then you come back in the future. The omnipresent mole it burrows and emerges to block any landborn attacker. Gross! That thing's ugly as shit. Ooh, the fervid mantis. Gonna bang and murder a, pa <laughs> a mate. The fervid mantis, its praying claws strike both to the left and right. I want one of those. And the bullfrog. Um, I think I'd like the mantis. So you mean they can see it? Oh, okay, cool. Ooh. Got some D&D &D prep going on. Going, some D&D &D going on later today. Well, hope it's fun. Uh, so that's the one that sacrifices souls to power up cards, I think, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, okay. Right, so if we were to sacrifice, let's say... Oh, what would be a good one to give, like, eternal life to? Strange lava. No, because I feel like that might get rid of the thing. Wait, maybe it gains two. I'm not sure. Um, I don't want to get rid of me. <laughs> that sounds like a terrible idea. I think the mighty leap could be handy if we give it to like a more powerful card. What's that? 
And spawn. And when a card bearing the sigil is played, an ant is created in your hand. Oh, cool. Oh, look, the pelt still didn't really understand the pelt yet. Um, I think we're gonna give... Where's that, um... Yeah, I'm gonna give that to the cage wolf, I think. Because that could be pretty handy. Because then he's got a lot of health, so he can take the hits from that. And then it'll... I think the cage wolf probably, like, once it's, like, destroyed, it, like, becomes a wolf or something like that. The mantis with the moose. I don't see um, the moose as a choice up here, unfortunately. Because I was thinking the moose, but the moose doesn't appear to be... Oh, there it is right there. <laughs> I'm fucking blind as shit. Thank you, that blonde white guy. The mantis with the moose. Yeah, that's not a bad idea, actually. I wonder if it gets rid of it or if it keeps both. Oh, okay, it keeps both. What's the arm icon do? Uh, the arm icon means it moves in the direction the arm faces and it will push anything along with it. Um, there's also an arrow where it just moves but it doesn't push. Mantis of Moose might be pretty damn good, actually. Right, okay. So what do we got? They are going to do Kingfisher. So that's Waterborne. Card bearing the sigil submerges itself during its opponent's turn. While submerged, opposing creatures attack its owner directly. So you can't hit it? Ugh, get out of here, creepy hand. Uh... Okay, maybe maybe there's like a thing that can hit them or something. Um, all right, well I'm gonna place down the squirrel. I'm then gonna sacrifice the squirrel for the strange lava, and we'll see what it does. Yeah, it's like a six damage creature that like spreads its damage. It's pretty it's pretty handy that. It's pretty fucking handy that thing. Uh right, so now they're underneath, so they can't be attacked. Weird. So the strange it's the strange pupa now. It's got more health. It's gonna turn into something. It's evolving. It's evolving. Um let's pull out you. Ah, the moose buck. Yes, the incredible moose buck. We need to we need to build up a nice little thing for the moose buck. I can't summon that right now, so I'm just gonna leave that be. Oh god. Oh shit, it's become the Mothman Prophecies. Seven damage. Holy shit. Oh, I'm nearly dead though. Although that's going to flip the tables quite a lot. Okay, so he's become the Mothman now. <laughs> we have Mothman on the board. I place a squirrel on the board. Um, and I can't actually do anything else. Mothman, do your thing. Oh, beautiful. That, saved. that saves us. That saves us. I think we should get him on the next turn. Um, what's, what are you going to be? Golden pelt. Oh, okay. It's actually not much I can do. <laughs> I guess we'll just end our turn and win, I guess, because he'll just do seven damage. Jesus, that thing is powerful as hell. That thing is crazy. Someone call Richard Gear. The Mothman's here. That, that wasn't meant to rhyme, but it did. <laughs> and I'm glad it did. Uh, I think. We'll go with what? What is that one? Let's go that way. I don't. I don't know what that is. Ooh. Okay. Do we want a? Let's take a. Let's take a. Let's take a one sacrifice. It's Lewis. <laughs> At the end of the owner's turn, a card bearing the sigil will move in the direction inscribed in the sigil. 
then we've also got the water ball. Interesting. It's a strange card to have. <laughs> Weird. All right. There's room around the kitchen and the campfire. This enhances health. Okay, so let's see. I'm still wait. I'm still waiting for it to go terribly wrong when I do this. I think we shall enhance the health. I don't mind the cockroach dying, so it's fine. Uh, I think we'll enhance the health. Maybe of the strange lava. Why can't I use the stone? I think you can use the stone. He just doesn't like. He just doesn't want me to use it. <laughs> so I could use the stone. He's the stone is just like, please don't use me. I don't want to get used. Let's give him like more health, shall we? I feel like that'd be good. To, to more likely to live, you know. It's looking like those don't go wrong. I could be wrong still, you know. Just let my guard down. Uh-oh. Is this the flying wolf totem? Ah, so no, this, this, this gives them all sprinters. Right, so they're all gonna... Oh, God, okay. All right, uh... Right, so let's put down a squirrel. And then we'll sacrifice the squirrel and summon Milby. <laughs> and then we will end our turn. Oh no, I could have sacrificed Milby to bring the skink and the Milby would have come back. Well, now it's gone. <laughs> oh well. Can we build? Nope. God damn it. Well, I can't do anything now. Man, that fell apart fast. <laughs> I need a little bit of breathing room here. I gotta sacrifice, I gotta pull out one of my teeth. I think I might perhaps then. Mm, no, I'm, I'm not going to sacrifice you yet. Oh, damn it. How disappointing. Oh. Okay, we're still okay. We're still going. We're still going. It's okay. The Rattler. Ah, it's a black goat. That thing's really handy. And the River Otter. Ah, the Elusive Otter. It submerges itself during my turn. Yeah, it's a weird one, though. I like the black goat, because the black goat will be make it easy for me to summon the Mighty Moose, you know? Uh, let's go here. Okay, so we can increase the thingy's health. Um, well, I don't particularly want to, s well, actually, yeah, I guess I do kind of want that to have a bit more health so I can, well, I probably wouldn't play that very often unless the, the moose is down as well. Um, let's, let's, let, you know what, you know what, Mr. 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 Stoat, you're going in there. You say you don't want it, but I'm putting you, I'm putting you in there, okay? Let's see what's going on around here. 
I still want to grab that thing. We still have this as well. Oh, does it fit? <laughs> does it fit? Does it blend? Hmm. I wonder how you open up the bottom one. I mean, that looks like a cage wolf, you know? Ah. <laughs> still, don't, still don't know what this is about, yeah. Good safe gun on that? I guess I could try. I don't know which one it would have to, which one would be which though. There's a lot of different possible ones there. Nah, I think it's gonna be something else then. Alright. Go. Um. I'll have to look seeing the skull afterwards. I can't I can't do it while I'm in this mode. Lewis, worker ant squirrel. Um What do you got? Kingfish. God, these water things suck. Such a that's such a horrible first round. Alright, we'll kill the coyote, so that's something. What the fuck? <laughs> what what I Get a chance then. Oh, god damn it. They just, they just like rolled over me, those birds did. I was like, there was nothing. There was nothing there for me to do. Stay there. No need to move. I'm afraid you are not dead yet. Hold still. Hmm, where did I put the camera of mine? Like, do you really think I would leave Ricky film in there? Tabby, bitch! For thou art deserving less than Q. Oh, thank you, your random female encounter for the 69. 69! Do you have any idea what that camera is capable of? Give me that. Oof, those hands are freaky, man. We have a memento to create. Behold your death card. Shall we begin to ink it? Please choose a card to draw the cost from. Oh boy. Okay. So one blood from the worker end. Power and health. Uh, I guess the bullfrog, I suppose. And the, uh... I guess we'll give it to the, the skink. It seems like we lose the cards when they go away. Mm. 
No, I was a bit worried about losing the ant queen. Like, I'm not super sure what actually carries over in terms of decks. I had such high hopes for that last one. Why do I bother trying to teach you? You, you will learn as we go, or you will die. Seems that lowly stink bug has made its way in. Okay, so not, oh, okay, so not like every, right, okay, so just some things make it. But then it's dealt, so it stands. What kind of game is this? I'm not entirely sure, I'll be honest with you. Ooh, yeah, look at that. There's a tooth in there. That's just a permanent picture or something. All right. Uh, this, this is a, a game where you seem to play this card game and then also get off the table and like do things. It's odd. <laughs> now you may not know. You may not choose a specific beast. Instead, you must decide on a tribe that you prefer. Yeah, moose buck! A hooved. Do you wish to have something else? No, I want the moose buck. Are you kidding me? I love the moose buck. Moose buck's badass. An ancient woman emerged from behind an oak tree. She carefully laid out intricate wood carvings, then gestured at them briskly. Oh, this is what you meant by you haven't met her yet. Choose. Many lives. When a card bearing the sigil is sacrificed, it does not perish. What? What about that? like something I can like turn on then and they'll all have it? Like what does, how does that work? Well, I guess I'll give this a go. Oh that's what I needed it for, okay. The fledging sigil will now be marked upon all your squirrel creatures. Oh I see. That's, th that's what the head refers to, is like, who gets the pet right, okay. Right, okay. Yeah, okay, makes more sense now. Great, so now all my squirrels will become more powerful after a turn? <laughs> Interesting. Oh, so they're just always on there. The squirrel. Cool. I put down a squirrel, but I won't sacrifice the squirrel, because I want to know what the squirrel becomes. Does that just become a feral squirrel then? An elder squirrel? <laughs> so it's just a squirrel, but like slightly better than it was before. <laughs> My eldest, beware the elder squirrel. 
All right, we will sacrifice the stoat. Put it there. I think it might be time for the moose buck. I sacrifice all of my creatures and summon moose buck. <laughs> moose buck, the most powerful of all. Hey, Caps Lock. Um, does this game have jump scares? I don't know. I will be honest with you. I was wondering that myself. I'm not the best when it comes to jump scare shit. Um... It's definitely got a very eerie atmosphere to it. But I don't know if it has like proper, proper like jumpy jump scares. Um, okay, let's see. I think maybe we can get like a bones boy. Yeah. It does, but like small ones. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, you. So strange. Why can't I remember his name? I believe I lost some of my memory in the flash. Good play. All right, so we got him down now. Um, all right. I think we're fine. That moose, the moose guy is like just ridiculously good. I should just always, I should just always be working to pull out moose, I guess. It was a de there was a demo for it, Adam. Um, there was a demo out for it before, I think. Ooh, what the fuck is that? Oh, it's a snake, okay. All right, I'll take the Adder. What are you? Oh, it's you again. The bones of the ancient woman creaked and groaned as she approached. With gently shaking hands, she placed her offerings before you. Ooh. Oh, we can change out the heads. Covering so just kind of free blood run. Interesting. So we could stick the moose head on there. So then the mooses become more powerful? Oh my god. The old woman collected her pieces and shuffled off into the darkness. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, I guess I did have triple blood squirrels. Oh, that would have been pretty good. Yeah. I'll have to remember that for the future. Uh, coyote. Okay, let's see. I wouldn't mind getting the caged wolf out. I still don't know what that does. So let's put down two squirrels. And then sacrifice them for the caged wolf. Put on a squirrel, and we'll get a bullfrog out. And I'll take out that coyote. There's like an army of coyotes around here. And then we'll pull one of these. Hey, that cage wolf. He hid that for a reason. The card seems useless, but I think there's more to it. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm thinking, too. Uncage the menagerie. What was that? We uncage the wolf. The wolf is released. I think something more than just that happened then. 
possibly. I got an achievement, yeah. Uh, I think we will... Let's pull up a squirrel. Punk that down, and then we'll do... Sacrifice these two, and put you there. Let's get some squirrels. A little bit of overkill there. Um, I think we shall go. Let's go there. Good, get to pick more cards. All right. What the shit in hell is that? <laughs> oh, it's the bugs, the bug people. All right. So the beehive spawns bees when it's attacked. I think it said. Is it when destroyed or attacked the beehive? I guess that. Group of starving survivors stood around a dying campfire. Oh yeah, we, we know about this. So this is a health one. <laughs> Beehive. Once a card bearing the sigil is struck, a bee is created in your hand. A bee is defined as a one power, one health airborne. I feel like we could attach the bee thing to something with more health. Like, so, because the more health that has, surely the more bees I'd spawn. I mean, you could stick it on the moose bug. <laughs> but then it, you've also got to spawn the moose bug then, which itself is already, like, a bit of a, a mission. A bee moose. Why does the adder look so sad? It does look really sad, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, so I think... I think we're, I think we're going we're gonna to make some kind of... Wait, no, what am I talking about? This isn't the thing. This isn't the thing we used to take the powers on. I'm just going to give it to the beehive. But, sorry, in my head, I was thinking we'd gone to the sacrifice thing for some reason in my brain. I don't know why I thought that. Not the bees! Nicolas Cage just, like, started shivering somewhere. Oh shit. Powerful moose buck. Oh, my God. I'm very curious what the moose buck would become. <laughs> All right, uh, what do you got? Wolf club, okay. So let's plonk down the squirrel. And we'll leave it there for now. Definitely gonna die here because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, never mind. How much? How much things do I have? So like one, two. Yeah, no, I think they're gonna kill me anyway. Oh well. It's very easy to uh, to die in this. Oh, don't recall making that one. The tragic rat king. When their tangled bodies become corpses, you will gain four bones. Ooh, nice. What's this? Then? Interesting. I think like I gotta take this one. It's so mysterious. 
<laughs> it's so mysterious. Who, you know, who knows what it could be? Um. What, what was that again? I can't remember what these were. Oh, it's one of these. Ugh. A pair of feet. A gust from this may lift your creatures into the air, if only for a turn. A rock may get you out of a hard place. Sweet. Oh, I'm definitely taking the black girl. If you deem it necessary, you may cut up one of these cards with these. Oh yeah, definitely take. Give me a pair of scissors. Goat moose power. The goat and the moose, the ultimate team. A chill mist closed in around you. You are not alone. A figure emerged from the fog. It's me. Standing away, my gold be done. It's me, Herbert Moon. He's doing the prospector again. Easy, boss. The mule's key. Oh, yeah, the mule is key. The mule gives you, like, a shitload of cards, doesn't it? Right, we can't go too mad here, because last time I did this, and it fucked me over. <laughs> I really don't want to get the moose book out now because they're going to die afterwards. <laughs> Keep me alive. Okay. So fast, Jesus Christ. I guess I could use the scissors to cut the mule. Ah, that's too thick. Well, I'm gonna cut you then. Maybe the damage goes up every time I ring, I pass a turn. Maybe that's what this thing is. I don't want to know so it could destroy. I'm quite happy working stuff out on my own. I don't get much joy out of people just telling me how to do everything. No, I don't want the moose because I'd rather get the moose out on the next turn. See what your thing is. Hmm, I think I think I have hit the bet. I wonder if that much so that could possibly be amount of times you hit the bell before you spawn it. Not possibly. Dang damn it! 
Oh yeah, I forget about- I keep forgetting overkill is a thing in this game. Put any more cars down yet because he's going to do the gold mine thing. That's car. There's gold in them cars. Yeah, missing this is so spooky. Wait, why didn't he. Why didn't it work there? Oh, did, why didn't it work there? Because there wasn't a card there, I guess, maybe? I have a cat. I didn't even realize I had a cat. Blood. Right. Okay, so. I think it might be moose bug time. Well, actually, you know what? We probably don't need the moose bug, actually. We'll probably save it for, like, we probably don't need the black goat yet. We could probably save it for a later fight. Let's get out the possum. Oh, I gotta draw a card first. I gotta draw it. Let me plunk down the squirrel. Sacrifice those two. Then he'll just kill him. The boost time on the moose buck only work once. I think, yeah, I don't think it keeps doing it over and over again. Put down the squirrel. Let's sacrifice that and that to pull out you. Only one? What? How many turns does it? Don't need to do one turn. Huh, okay, maybe I don't understand how that. I feel like I've done like two turns. this to... Hmm. I guess I'll work that out as I go along. Oh, okay. Uh, let's do the squirrel. It's time to pull out Moose Bug. Oh, I didn't get to see him do his transform. Oh well. Like I said, let me work it out so it could destroy it. I mean, if I ask questions, I'm just asking them out loud to myself, not to actual chat. I'll make it very obvious when I'm actually asking for answers. Let me relight your candles. Hey, rare card. Can I have the Mothman again? Oh. The prudent pack rat. Never doubt the utility of a well-stocked pack. When a card bearing the sigil is played, you will receive a random item as long as you have less than three items. Oh, that's kind of cool. Gek. OK, 
Gek is such an assuming card, you know. You're like... Oh. <laughs> yeah, we still got our goat, which is good. I do quite like... The Mole Man's like a good... Is a good defense thing. I might take the, the, the Mole Man. But then, I mean, the Pack Rat Slim's pretty handy, too. It's like two sacrifice. And that's like one for like six defense. I'm gonna take Mr. Mole Man. All right, let's try again. Let me see. Uh, okay. The buzzing and chirping of insects drowned out the sound of your footfalls. You, you were into the wetlands. Let's go. Let's go here. We'll work ant. Diligent. Its strength is proportionate to the size of its colony. Uh, ooh, never beehive. I think I'll take the river altar. Still don't see how you kill those things yet. Right, so, what kind of power do we want? Could add a beat power to a moose buck. We could add instant kill power. I mean, instant kill power to the moose seems a bit pointless considering how powerful it is. Adding that to, like, maybe that could be pretty good. You would need, like, one damage. The waterborne thing. The beehive... Every time it struck, a bee's created in your hand, and it's like a 1-1. One, one. It's a 1-1 one, one thing, which I guess could be pretty good for sacrifice, you know. Beyond the Mole Man. Beyond the Mole Man's not a bad shout, actually. Because the Mole Guy's gonna move to wherever damages it is, and that means it's always going to be... You know what? I like that. Let's do Beyond the Mole Man. <laughs> a Mole Man that shoots off bees every time. Because <laughs> he, like, seems to... He seeks out damage, so... Yeah, he should be spawning bees all over the place. <laughs> just a mole. Just a mole of bees flying out of his body. I do want to see what the Moose Bucks, like upgrade itself looks like. Okay, so there's a bullfrog there. Alright, so let's stick down the squirrel and then pass on to him. We'll take another squirrel. Walk that down. And we'll sacrifice them both for a wolf. I'm not putting the wolf against these because it'll just die. That's fine, that's fine. Uh, so we'll put... Oh, I gotta draw a card, don't I? I'll draw one of those. Alright, so we'll put the stink bug down and have it kill one of the adders. Can't do any damage anyway. Uh, and then I think we'll. Ricky Ticky Tabby Bitch! No. Um. It's a Molby. <laughs> that punkster! Thank you for the four months. Good old milk. <laughs> milk. So that guy killed the wolf. Oh yes, this guy again. Hmm. 
So how many how many how many times have I rung the bell so far? Like once or twice. Probably best holding off on that one. Hmm. Ugh. Ew, get it off. Might have to sacrifice. Might have to bring out the goat. Uh, although I feel like that's not going to help that much right now. I was kind of hoping I'd get one of the bone boys. Isn't it? If I bring out the goat and then he's attack that. I mean, it might. It might get us to last a bit longer. Let's do it. I think this. I think this will work. Oh, I didn't realize you had to do that to bring him out. I forgot about that. Ah, fuck it. We'll be fine. Oh, he powers up as well. Oh, I don't have time for that right now. That might give us enough. Time to. Oh no! <laughs> the fucking attic instantly killed it! Ah! Oh my god, I'm so dead. It's alright, kick and destroy. I just, you know, I don't mind making mistakes. That's how I learn, you know? The skink. Cockroach and me. Ooh. Um I should have my face. <laughs> uh let's see. Maybe the cockroach. What is that one? I don't think I've had that one yet. You came across the familiar, some familiar stones, but there was something different. You, in, you in, intuit, intuited that the fate of the creature selected for this would not be pleasant. <laughs> okay, well, um... A uh, bullfrog, then. You callously slaughtered the bullfrog. However, the Bone Lord was pleased by your sacrifice. Oh. You will start each battle with one extra bone. Oh, thank you. You shook off the viscera of the poor bullfrog and carried on with... Ah, maybe you get, like, better stuff if you sacrifice better things. Look. There's a third talking card somewhere around here. Personally, I hate the guy. <laughs> Biggest killjoy ever. But he's the only one of us with a plan to get things back to normal. Okay. No, he won't die. You sure? <laughs> you sure about that, buddy? Not really. Yeah. 
So he'll kill him, so that's fine. I don't know what the fuck to do with him. Uh, let's um, get one of you out. That's one. It had one turn so far. A lucky draw, yeah, ish, kinda, uh, yeah, no, I really kinda. I gotta yank a tooth out. I think I might die of voice. Oh shit, no, that's four. Oh no, he's two. Okay. So now he's powerless. He can't do any damage. So that's good. Uh, so that's two or three. That's two. There's two things that now disappear every turn. Great. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay. Um, guess we'll get a squirrel out. Damn, I freaking I have no idea what you're supposed to do with those. River Otter. Oh, well, that's not going to be much use. Three attacks that I can't stop every turn. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, we're gonna put the river otter down. And then we can summon the cockroach. So hopefully now we can outlast the amount of damage he does with the amount of damage we do. Moose bug. I see the way this is going. I concede. You may accept my surrender. Or you may finish this match the slow way. Interesting. Okay. I mean, I'm always willing to try something once, but that's pretty weird. Uh, what the fuck is that? That I don't think I've seen before, and I don't think I've seen that before either. I like how he just keeps adding random rules to the game. <laughs> just like, eh, fuck it, why not? Uh, so it's like a cave thing and like a mushroom thing. Um, I guess we'll do the mushroom thing. A meddlesome bat, a minor terror. An adept kingfisher, a slippery hunter. Slap, slippin', slip and slide! Hey! Rattler. Rattler's like good damage, but like shit health. Kingfisher, I'm gonna do. Because I've, I've, I hate fighting kingfishers, so surely I'd love using them. You found yourself among a grove of thick and pungent mushrooms. You squinted to see a figure through a thick cloud of spores. Oh god. We are the my uh my uh my how'd you say that? My 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 so my soolog my sologists? My my sologists? My sologists? Mycologist? Mycologist. Okay. Yeah, oh god. Uh, and we are performing our experiments from far, far, far from, from, from. We are not welcome elsewhere. <laughs> we will experiment on your flock, yes? We will need two of the same creatures? One for each of us. Do I have any? Oh, oh, you, you don't. You have no duplicate cards. T take one of ours? 
We will use it next time. Oh, is that what those little mush? Is that what those little markers mean? You already have one, right? Okay. Uh, I'll take a kingfisher. Okay, so if we run into him again, we can we could utilize that. All right. So what have we got? One, two, three, four. Okay, that guy's just gonna keep hitting us no matter what. That's whisk. We're kind of screwed there because he's never gonna break that. Oh no, he is gonna break that because he blocks the flying ones. Okay. Ugh, get a gross spider off of there. The mole man. The mole man cometh. Oh shit! I think this is the first time we've actually had the mole man appear. Right, so the Mole Man. When an empty space would be struck, a card bearing the sigil will move to that space to receive the strike instead. I wonder if that is every turn or just... Just once. Put you by there. And, um... put you there because then you won't die I think yes a bee a beautiful bee we have a beautiful and doesn't cost anything to put down wonderful Uh, right, okay, I have an idea. If we put a bee down here, and then we sacrifice the bee and the wolf, uh, so it's the bee and the stink bug, and then we attack that, and that'll carry over to that and kill both, I think. It's bee time, baby. It's bee time. And we have a nice little... Okay, so let's... Okay, so he's just gonna fuck around with us the whole time now. <laughs> uh, right. What else we got here? Kingfisher. Okay. Kingfisher will just forever fly and attack. Um... All right. Well, no. I, well, oh, oh no. I don't want to sacrifice. Well, well, we'll put the bee down, and then we'll get the kingfisher out. Hey, there we go. That was actually quite easy. <laughs> oh, I like the the bee mole. The bee mole man. He's good. That's a good. That's a good boy. I have the most exquisite pelts. Oh yes, the pelt bag again. The first one's free. We have. We only have enough for one of these. Let's get a wolf pelt. I can't afford anything else. Much appreciated. Alright, well, eventually we'll we'll get to find out what that's about, I guess. Uh oh, I don't remember what that one is. Ooh, well let's 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 actually do the kingfisher thing now the mushroom guy's there. Did you bring us two of the same? Yes, I did. Two kingfishers. I I think this could get messy. Look away. The the kingfisher it is now one. Lovely. <laughs> Lovely. Thank you for that. You just smushed two kingfishers together. Foul smell invaded your nostrils and caused your throat to seize. A hulking man sat by a breakish pond with his feet submerged in the dark water. He pulled a hook from a pile of rotting fish and rose to his feet. I am the angler. Go fish. Yeah, I think it gained both. The, I think the stats of them got mushed together, basically. All 
Alright, squirrel. Mole man. You're up. This guy's never gonna get hit again. <laughs> but you're up. I don't know if you'll- Oh, well, actually, no, you, you block the thingies. Yeah, so that's good, right? So, Mole man, you're doing your thing. Moose Buck is in our hand instantly, which is a good sign. He'll probably destroy all the board things, so I don't want to go too crazy. That's one. There's a bee. Which fish? Hard choose. Hard choose. Wait, what does that mean? There's a marker on there. Uh oh. You're gonna you're gonna fish him up? Don't do that. Fisher fish, easy choose. What the fuck? Mine now go fish. You took my card? Okay. Oh, I've got to be very careful. Holy shit. You son of a bitch. You stole my bee. You son of a beach. Oh, okay. I gotta. So I gotta, like, distract them. I'm, I'm worried about putting the moose out now. I guess he fishes your freshest card. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Stale fish, hard shoes. Okay, yeah, so yeah, there we go. She just picks randomly if you don't have one in particular down. I think I might have to get the moose out, if I'm honest with you. <laughs> but if I do that, then he's gonna. No, okay. What if I I, I I put two bees down, and I I sacrifice the river otter and the moose, and then I sacrifice the river otter and the two bees, and then I put a squirrel down, and then he'll eat the squirrel and not the moose. Take the, the squirrel guy. Mole man. Elder Moose. Oh my god. I really do not need him to- I really do not want him to take that moose. That would- that would suck. If he took that moose, that would suck. Yeah, the Mulby was pretty damn good so far for this one. The Angler. Mind his hook. Play a squirrel or something when he aims it. That will protect your best cards, yes. Thank you, thank you, <laughs> thank you, Stinkbug. I'm aware. Good play, thank you, thank you. Uh, okay, so we could, 
Let's leave it like that. I'm assuming he's gonna wipe the board now. Go fish. Oh, okay, he doesn't wipe the board. Alright. Bait bucket. Uh oh. I don't know what that's gonna be. Oh, the kingfisher! The horrible, gross, bloody kingfisher. Might of the moose cannot be halted. Man, the the elder moose just saved that stink bug, like big time. Then, oh dear! But now, but now he's just gonna keep sticking shit in there. Great. Something to take all the hits for us now. <laughs> Oy! Need a light? I got him. Your reward? Oh, yes. Show me, show me. The douse. The filthy feral hog. It becomes incensed when it chi when its chimes are struck. The holy mantis god, a perfect incarnation of of terror. Oh, that's a freeway attack! Holy shit! Trif trificated strike. That's pretty cool. Only one damage, but that power on something else could be very good. That on the moose, ha oh. oh. ha ha ha! Stick that baby on the moose, or stick something else on there, like poison on that guy would be pretty good. The thing that instant kills? That would be really good, yeah. Bellist. When a card bearing this sigil is played, a chime is created on each empty adjacent space. A chime is defined as zero power, one health. Oh, okay, so that kind of like things to sacrifice. Interesting. The amalgam. Canine hooved reptilian feathered insectoid. The amalgam is all. Ah, uh, so I bet like all of the different things, like that, like the, 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 the totems, I bet that like affects, all of them will affect that one. So we could have some kind of like super powered amalgam thing. Uh, ooh. I like this purely for the fact that it's got this cool ass fucking power. I'm gonna take the Mantis Gold. Just because I feel like we could do some cool stuff with that. You considered one of the angler's catches as a meal, but the rank odor deterred you. Dinner would have to wait. Let me think. Frigid gust of wind billowed, unwelcome into your lungs. The beauty of the falling snow failed to distract you from the chill in your bones. You had ascended to the snow line. Ooh. The wolf's unchained. Ah, 
You finally pried my special dagger from the paws of that squirrel. Though you may wish you hadn't. Stab. <laughs> Stab. Oh, there's the dagger. Can't use that right now. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, before we carry on, I'm gonna take a real short break. I need to uh, stretch my legs because I've been streaming for like three hours so far. I need to stand up. Uh, I will be back in about five minutes. I'm going to fill my water bottle up and I'm also going to, I don't know, do something else. But uh, yes, give me about a five minute break and we'll return with some more. This is really fun. I'm enjoying this game. This is, uh, this is super duper fun. By the way, so what are we all, what are we all feeling about in inscription thus far? How are we all, how are we all feeling? I am personally, I'm in loving it. I'm really enjoying myself thus far. It's very cool and weird. <laughs> it's like a, I don't know, like the strategy in it is like really, really fun. It's been very distracting, so it must be good. Well, that's, that's, that's hey, that's a good sign. The worst service provider, BT. It's funny though, is that the BT, all the lines are like BT. <laughs> it's like, there are that we have like so many internet providers here, but they all rent the line from BT apart from Virgin. <laughs> so it's like all BT lines, regardless of who you're actually with, unless you're Virgin, unless you're a Virgin, unless you're with Virgin, sacrifice a, a goat to get a Virgin. I have influenced you to get it, hey. Yeah, it's like, hey, let them know if I've influenced. Spread that influence and uh, influence sends uh, uh, right. So I think we'll go here, right? There's a mushroom guy up there, so I kind of want to have like two cards. So I'd like to be able to pick one. Did I do that? <gasps> Did I do that? Is that Urkel? What are you, Urkel? Card counter. The value representing. Interesting. That's possibly equal to the number of either cards in hand, possibly, I'm going to assume that is. The, the pernicious vulture. Well, I love, the, I love the language in this. It's really good. The pernicious vulture, tyrant of the skies. Eight bones, but like free damage and it's an airborne creature, so it just always goes after them. It's actually pretty good. The elk could be good because um, it'll get powered up. I'm probably going to take this one. The elk has the boon. The elk does have the boon, so it would get more powerful, yeah. But it's like two. No, I'll take the elk. It's a good shout. It's a good shout. Take the elk because he's got the boon. For now. For now. Probably disappear at some point. A frozen possum. Even though it says a possum. The pitiful possum. To the user, a frozen possum is created in your hand. A frozen possum is defined as zero power, five health. Frozen away. Um. Interesting. Very weird. It's a good Halloween vibe, this game, isn't it? You know? It's just a bear squirrel? I think so. I mean, what's the frozen status? When a card bearing the sigil perishes, the creature inside it is released in its place. Oh. Sounds good. Ah! Oh no, oh, oh no, you can't use that. To the user, nothing will happen. This bottle of goo has no use. 
I'll take that then. <laughs> you tell me I can't use that, I say that there's a secret there. Unless this is like Dark Souls. What have they got? Oh no, they've all got the sharp quills. So when is this one then? To use the, to, the, you will place a weight on the scales. The pain is temporary. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> Just gonna cut a chunk of myself off or something and throw it on there. Mole Bay. We'll get Mole Bay on there. Right, squirrel, the mole man, and you go. Stink. Why is the stink bug a person? Uh, what? What the heck? The stink bug has become a person. <laughs> okay. Very interesting. Uh, okay. Stink person now, yeah. Maybe maybe all the, these talking ones were actually like people like us at one point before they became like a card. I kind of want to hold off, to be honest with you. Just to spawn, like, a pile more bees. And then, like, get some more cars we can sacrifice. Maybe get the Elk Boy in, you know? We'll just have the Mole Man take a bunch of hits and spawn more things. Oh, no, they just... They evolved into Elk, I just realized. Wait a minute, did my thing just affect? No. I didn't even notice they had evolution on them. Uh oh. That's not good. Elk Volute, yeah, I didn't notice that. I was paying so much attention to the red, I didn't pay attention to the Elk Volution. Hmm. Okay. Kill him, which is annoying. Getting pretty close, though. It's only, it's only, they only keep it for the first one, the fledgling thing. Um. Oh, 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 oh! Did I pick that? I didn't pick that then, did I? I had to put my eye on the scale. No wonder I can't see properly. Uh, shit. Okay. Well, that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> uh, I don't. 
remember pick maybe unless I accidentally picked that then. Cracking <laughs> Cracking Grommet. Die, but he'll take out two of them. Stab her for Christie. <laughs> That's really good. Wait, didn't you? Oh, he only attacked one before it. Oh, fuck. I thought it like did them. I thought it would do them all at once. I just did them like in order. That's a little disappointing. Yeah, we learned. We did learn some stuff. Something else there. <laughs> Where's that thing gone? There he is. I think we can actually survive. Oh, fuck, I didn't think that was going to be there. Nope. Forgot about the thing coming down. So I'm just missing an eye now. Painful to see. I can't see. Believe it or not, you're not the first to lose an eye here. This isn't much fun if you're half blind. Perhaps you'd like to replace it? Salvation in Cuckoo Clock. Brother? Regardless, the choice is final. Wolf. Take the film roll before he sees it. Now. What are you up to over there? Oh, nice. Let's see. We've got film roll for the next time he tries. He kills us. It's almost like it's like a fake roguelike. Do you know what I mean? It's like, it's almost like it's tricking you into thinking it's like a roguelike, but in truth, there's like a... You're trying to like... It, the roguelike's there to keep you distracted to, to do other things and stuff. You encountered a small outpost in the woods tended by a mysterious woman. It was the trader that the old trapper had mentioned. 
Her appearance was unsettling. A fog like uh, But you were mollified by her offerings. Do you mind if I examine those pelts of yours? Do I have any pelts? Let's start with your hair pelts. Here's what I can offer. Whoa! What the? My car bangs are playing a damage on each empty station space. Adapt to find Okay. A moose, you know. Problem with the moose is it's just. So difficult to use. Right, I guess we could merge the mooses. Or the grizzly. These are like such high sacrifice cards to get out though. <laughs> that strong mantis pose. I wonder if it will let me mushroom the moose. Because it doesn't have a little mushroom underneath it. And because I've added, like, powers to the moose. Or have I? No, wait. No, I haven't. Yeah, I do want to do it for the mushroom. I'm just thinking, like... The moose goes so hard to get out most of the time. But... No, let's... let's... Let's see if we can let's see if we can merge the mooses, shall we? Ooh, pulf, pulf, wolf pelts, exquisite. Oh shit! There's another mushroom guy up ahead as well. Black go. No, I don't want him to move to that. Okay. Sounds like it'd be impossible to get him <laughs> around. Hmm. A bat with waterborne and airborne. This seems ridiculous. The Warren. Some kind of fledgling Warren. When a card bearing the Siddler's played, a rabbit is created in your hand. A rabbit is defined at zero power, one health. Hopefully we can we can smush these two moose bucks together. Yeah, the skunk could be a pretty good one. Creature's posing card bearing the sigil loses one power and it acts as an eternal many lives thing. Rat King. Four bones rewarded instead of one when it dies. Although I don't know how it would die because it's got water born. <laughs> what happened to the stoat? Yeah, I don't know what happened to the stoat. I don't know where the stoat is. Yeah, the Warren is an interesting one. Oops, I keep accidentally doing that. Black Goat is great for summoning things. It's there, is it? Oh, shit! What the fuck? The stoat... Oh. He's just chilling. He's got, a little, he's got a little TV face. Um, I'm thinking the black goat purely just because it makes it easy to summon the, the the moose. But like, obviously, there's a lot of cool ones here. The only problem with this goat is he jumps to attack. He jumps to save people. But yeah, I think we're gonna go with the black goat. I got the black goat. This part's the most excellent. My thanks. Just, just I think it just goes well. The moose, you know. Hey, here we go. Right, see if we can mush these two moosters together now. We need duplicates. One for each of us. Let's do it, man. Look away! Look away! You, you may want to avert your eyes. Oh. I can't see. I can't bear to see my moose. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, okay. We now have 6 damage, 14 health. That's a fucking strong card, Jesus. 
Just, just, just hope it never hits us of those snakes that insta kill it. How has it been? Uh, it's been uh, quite bad. I am trapped in the body of a stout, in the paper of a card. I see that, and I have of course set up a way to rest, to reset once more. Uh, go on, I'll play a friend here. They already hold the key. I'm serious, you cannot use that. There's no possible use for it. I'll place it on that shelf over there for now. And my advice? Avoid it. Interesting. It's a 2 2 card. A raven egg. Hmm. Alright, that's. Let's do that. Here we are. Get rid of this feckin' raven now. <laughs> and that. Bad play. No, it's a fine play. Fuck you. Get rid of the things where they turn into these nightmare. Oh god, free damage? <laughs> ah, Jesus. And because of that stupid alpha as well. Okay, well, we'll kill the alpha on our next turn, so that's fine. Be something good, buddy. So you found the stunted wolf. This guy. You've seen play out enough times to know that a plan is in motion. Make haste. Okay. Damn it! <laughs> Son of a bitch! God damn it. My moose! Oh. Maybe I can get the stats from the moose on my card. That'd be good. Give me the moose stats with the mantis triple head. That's what I want. Please try to remain alive for just a short while longer. I would like a memento. Your death card. Let us begin. Choose a card to draw the cost from. No, I want that one. Okay, well, we'll just take the... We'll just take the... Uh, the uh, why won't it give me the power and health of the thing I want? <laughs> oh, I mean, I got that one, so... Man, they gave me all of the wrong ones at the wrong time. <laughs> I wanted that for the power. I wanted the mantis for the for the sigils. Uh You know? I gave them both. <laughs> I never did ask you your name. Yeah, Prepare yourself. Death awaits. Damn. Are you 
ready. I need to get. I need to get. I need him to drop the camera or something. Another challenger approaches. You'll prove we're worth in short order. Oh, we've got the film here. What are you looking at? Keep your eyes on me. A gift from the angler. Ooh. You see, he was defeated recently and wishes to redeem himself. It would be unfortunate if you were to fall to the prospector before he was given that chance. This hook is powerful. He may steal one of my cards with it. For that reason, you will not find any others along the path. Use it wisely. That foul, stunted wolf? You really want such a creature in your deck? The sight of it does try, try my temper. But it has been dealt. So it stands. Where'd he put the goopy thing? Ah! The pain is unbearable! Even after all these years. What do you want? I have very little to live for these days. Ah, it is done. The master is free! Oh, the end must be close now. If Magnificus is free, it must be close. Watching the angler lose. Now that soothed my pain. An old rival of mine, that fisherman. He bested me this time, but I will have another chance. Oh, I see you have a little something special up your sleeve. Fear not, I won't blow your cover. You just need to get a hold of that camera of his. Maybe if you defeated him, you'd get a chance. Oh, maybe that's what I have to do. Yes, yeah, so I see you have this little special something. All you need is an opportunity to use it. I've seen Charles touch his legendary camera. But only if they're able to defeat him. So maybe we do actually have to defeat him. Though. Definitely more are appearing. You're wondering about that painting? Yeah. I've seen stuff come out of it. Ugh. But only if the cards are aligned just right. Oh, so if we have a scroll and a ringworm, we put them there when we're playing. I bet you... Yeah, okay. Okay, we gotta try and get a ringworm. Wolf's pretty good, decent job. The eye thing just showed me it was just like two little blood splats on there. It looked like when I when I clicked on it. Hmm. You can't take more than three items, and you have three. Hmm. Instead, perhaps you'll accept this gift from my friend. Prudent pack rat. Never doubt the utility of a well stocked pack. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I'll take it. Okay, so all of the wolves are gonna jump in front of damage. You took the film roll. Is that correct? My plan nears. It's a moment of truth, but you must defeat him first. Okay. So our next big hurdle then is defeating him, which is unfortunately easier said than done. Are you 
sure? Yes, I'm sure. I don't mind if they come down because they'll kill you straight away otherwise. But when you attack, they'll cover it and die. It's very handy. Have I gotten close to feeding him yet? I don't even know. I don't know. I, I don't know like how... I don't know how long it takes to get through. Up, up. Squirrel. Bullfrog. Take you out. There we go. Beautiful. That's what I was hoping for. <laughs> Alright, let's get some squirrels. This is a, this is unnecessary teabagging now, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I play two squirrels and sacrifice those two squirrels for to summon Wolf to the board. I then have stunted Wolf, Wolf, and Bullfrog, and I proceed to the attack phase. I guess overkill's not a bad idea, actually. So I get, I do get the overkill thing, yeah. I forgot about that until just then. <laughs> so yeah, I guess it actually isn't a bad idea to teabag an overkill. Hey, it's the old river snapper. The stalwart snapper. The venerable alpha. Its courage emboldens the creatures that stand beside it. That's not a bad one. The great white. The tyrannical great white. The master of the deep. I mean, the fact that that's Waterborne. It's these Waterborne cards seem insanely strong. Like, like, what do you do to stop them? <laughs> like, 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 what the fuck? Like, that seems great. Like, that's hard to spawn, but that's four damage that they just can't stop, apparently. Like, unless until I see a wave to, to get rid of them, they just seem stupidly powerful. Um, I mean, I wouldn't mind the stink bug on the great white. Even though that gets rid of the stink bug boy. Yeah, the shark is crazy expensive. It's gonna be not it's not gonna be easy to get him out, but I feel like once it's on the board, then like that's like four damage every turn, basically. <laughs> that's, that's mad. Um And plus like anything he's opposite, he'll like make weaker, which is Sounds pretty good to me. All right, stink bug, I'm, I'm sacrificing you. I guess the spiky effect is still hitting them. Oh yeah, spiky shit. I didn't think about that. Sorry, stink boy. We meet again. Quite in a river water. Stink shark. Mm. <laughs> stink shark.
<laughs> Seems like a fucking, <laughs> fucking like bust round, doesn't it? Oh dear. Actually, no, no, it's it's salvageable, I think. Um. Does the overkill go over to me? Yes. Wait, does the over does the tr the damage from the, if it goes through them carry on into me, or does it just carry on to the the creature behind? Like, I'm enjoying this game a lot. Like, I could sacrifice them all, put the shark down. It would save me. But then we'd be stuck in a DPS race. Huh? Um, so I can either leave it like this and ta let them take the damage and do that, or I could sacrifice them all for that guy. Already tying in damage. Well, how much was that? Was that a one damage? Okay, so if that's a one damage, then it would actually be beneficial for me to use that. But I have to do the shark. I can't put the shark in front of that because if I do. Uh, I'll die because I'm pretty sure that's one away from killing me. Not die, but I'll lose. So I'd have to put the shark down there, and then we'd just be kind of going back and forth. Let's do it. If he puts a card there, I'm screwed. <laughs> so slow, I could, I will slowly win this. One, one bit at a time, I will slowly win this. <laughs> you wanna, you wanna give up, dude? You wanna give up? You have me here. I surrender. <laughs> yeah, there you go, buddy. There you go. I was gonna say, it's about time you gave up, man. Putting the shark in front of his auto debuffed it. Yeah, but the coyote would have killed me. I had to have the shark attacking directly him, or he would have taken me out. Thank you. Rat King. Bone King, when a car brings us. I mean, yeah, the Rat King's not too bad for all the bones it gives us. The Porcupine. Oh, it was underwater. Oh, yeah, sorry. Good point, Captain. Yeah, the water was underwater. So... Oh, yeah, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, fair, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, I could have made that go by a bit quicker. Good call. I didn't think about that. I don't, I don't have anything that summons with bones, do I? Because I killed the stink bug man. <laughs> I mean, maybe for the future, you know. Turkey vulture. Turkey vulture is a card I feel like I'd never get out. Like if I took the turkey vulture, I just feel like I'd never pull it out. No, I think it would. It, it would have worked. Um, yeah, no, I think that would have worked, Rico. It would have, it would have just be, we would have still ended up in like a stalemate for a while, but it would have worked a lot better than what I did. Um, I guess maybe the porcupine that could help with those stupid water guys that I hate.
Yeah. The, the sigil there could be handy. Toot toot toot, I have a message from Lord Good of the Shite. He wants you to check Discord later. Hey, man. Good of the shite? <laughs> sure that was a, are you sure that was a typo? We have no food. Okay, so we can we can oh we can enhance power. Okay. Ooh, I feel like enhancing the power of that is just gonna be a smart idea. This is where they kill him now, isn't it? <laughs> Wolf Club. Ooh, okay. Um He's got flying there. Yeah. Well, that does mean he'll skip over damaging my boys, though, so I guess that's something. Oh, but then we'll take the... Ah, okay, that's a good that's a good play, right. So we'll put the squirrel down, sacrifice the squirrel for the bullfrog, and he'll soak up the damage of that guy. Is gonna hit. <laughs> that boy is gonna hit. Um, maybe we should use this to get our special eye. I wonder if that. Although I don't know if the eye is gonna like play a role. I'd rather save that for now. Alright, so he, you're gonna kill that. Um, we could get an item if we put the pack rat down. Maybe that's an idea, actually. You know what? Let's do that. The black goat! So you'll kill that, and then you'll skip over that and attack us, which is fine. And then we'll attack you and kill you. Put down the squirrel, sacrifice the squirrel, put the porcupine there. <laughs> oh shit. Okay, we gotta get one more thing down, then, the, then it's great white time, baby. Go, great white! Beautiful. Alright, I guess he's done. Damn, man, that uh, that great white is actually pretty pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty damn good that great white, and we don't have a like, huge deck, so it's actually coming out quite a lot. That's the Pell Trader, isn't it? I think. The pelts are clean. Have a free one. Oh, thank you. Ooh, the golden pelt. I'd love to get to the pelt person and have enough to be able to buy one of those. There you go. Some good pelts there, right? Let's see if we can, hopefully we can, we can get to the pelt person and actually see this golden pelt in action. We're rich, baby, we're rich.
Let's go there. A bit of power, eh? I uh, could put it into you. Might be worth upgrading some other ones. Can you add the pelt to a card in play? You can play the cards. You can play the pelts, but uh, they seem better to have for like getting rare shit. Um, I think it might be better to upgrade something else so that we can actually like do good damage to other things, you know? <laughs> We've got the hook if we uh, need it. Oh yes, the smoke. Oh, if the hounds require a meal of that size. Where's that hound of mine? <laughs> Prospect the boss again. <laughs> again. Some bones from that boy. Okay. We want to get that pack mule burst as, as, as soon as possible. So I could put those two down, get the wolf out, get attacking on that one. I don't super do want to use a great white yet because he'll just get turned to gold. And then I might struggle in the second phase. Yep. <laughs> Yippity yep. Okay, yeah. Bounced out, alright. Squirrel. So I could I could summon it, but <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna hold off on it for now. My mule and her pack! And they drew a card then. Uh, okay. Get rid of that. Put the crazy down there, that should work. Golden name cards. And he only does the ones that are actually covered as well. Okay. Gold, I've struck gold. <laughs> uh, right. So we, I mean, we could do the black goat and then beat him, but like, you know, if we can hold off, I, I probably wouldn't be against them. No, you can't sacrifice gold. They have to break. Ah, uh, I mean, fuck it. Let's just let's just do it. Let's just let's just do the easy one. Let's 
squirrel go play great white play there you go get him get him boy She pines. Oh, there you go. <laughs> he just, he just kind of killed him. <laughs> he just kind of killed him straight away. Yeah, the one-shot shark. All right, rare cards. Pack rat. Ooh, child 13. Poor abandoned child. It does not die when sacrificed, but do you have the heart to try? Strange larvae. Oh, strange larvae is fucking badass. We had that one before. It make, it creates the Mothman. The greatest. The Mothman's badass. Hmm. Oh, yes, I know. As the air grows humid, your boots become harder to pull from the mud. The dank smell of tepid water invaded your nostrils. You had reached the wetlands. What is this? You arrive at the inky black mouth of a cave. A strange beast lurked within. It spoke, pass one of my trials and I will be yours, in a raspy voice. Free creatures will be drawn from your deck. They will decide your success or failure. It spoke again, but first you will choose a trial. A trial of kin. Two of the free drawn cards must be kin to pass. A trial of blood. The free drawn cards must cost at least four blood combined to pass. The free drawn cards must cost at least five bones. I think the I think the blood one's probably the best one to go for. The bone one we don't have any bone costs. We just gotta hope we get the shark and the the, the, the they don't there's no one really part of this there's only two, two walls of the part time. I think we'll go with the blood. Trial of blood begin. Oh, we've won. We've won. We pulled the great white straight away. That was amazing. The beast revealed itself. It was the mole, the skink, or the wolf cub. Ooh, a flying wolf cub. Oh, shit. That's good. That's going to turn into like a proper wolf that flies and skips over enemies. Oh, wow. interesting. That will just move around and keep breaking off its tail all the time. Nah, I'm gonna go the wolf cub. The, inhabited, the inhibited wolf club joins your menagerie. Menagerie. Some bone tokens for a rainy night. Ooh. I, uh, I think I'll take the scissors. <laughs> Being able to cut up something like that is very handy, just on the on a whim. Um, what was that again? Fire! I can't remember what this was. Was this the totem thing? Oh no, it's where you fight a totem. Shit! Okay. <laughs> it's where you fight a totem. It's not where you just get a totem. Oh god, they're all bees that evolve. Oh shit. Get down there. Beevolution! 
Uh, squirrel. <laughs> well, that's going to evolve. Uh, not much we can do about that. I'm going to hold off on this rune. The Elder Bee. Oh, it flies as well. Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, okay, hang on. Hang on. If we put down two squirrels. And then the wolf. I think we, we, we... I think we'll survive at least another one. Yeah, 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 okay. So we should kill both of those on the next turn. Fucking wolf pelts, get out of here, man. Okay, so we should be fine here. I try Sora yet? No, I haven't played Smash yet. Okay, so that's that. So now we're just doing equal damage to each other. I gotta hold off a bit here. We're in a bit of a stalemate right now. Yeah, okay, I think we're good. <laughs> I think we're good in the stalemate. So now we just have to put two squirrels down. We won't get an item from that, but that's fine. Can I use the pelts as damage blockers? Probably, but I won't, because later on we get like really good cards if we keep them, so I don't think it's worth using them up. Although, I mean, maybe if you don't want to, like, fill your deck up too much. Ooh, okay. That's what that means, then. That means that there's... that's two of them. So if we see a mushroom guy, that could come in handy, then. We could merge the bullfrogs into each other. I think I will. I'm gonna take that. Uh, for future mushroom boys, which I hope we run into. <laughs> right. Um, I've forgotten what that was. Can't remember what that was. We've also got the other thing that merges powers together. I thought killed cars weren't roofing your deck. I have a feeling that the pelts might be. I don't really want to test it, but I have a feeling the pelts are not quite the same as that. I forgot about the strange light. We haven't even pop up yet, have we? To kill the bullfrog. Oh, it... no, that was a diff. Would I, if I was gonna switch anyone, give anyone a sigil, who would I give a sigil to? I'd probably give the porcupine power thing to one of these boys. And we got the boon. I feel like that was a different one, but I could be wrong about that. Alright, we're gonna, we're gonna take that one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick the porcupine's power on uh, someone else.
Okay. Bullfrog. Right, let's... Oh god, I keep thinking the, the hands are a spider, and then they're not, and then they are, and it's freaking me out. Bullfrog would be pretty good at stopping that guy attacking, so I think we're going to start off with that. We're going to put that guy down, we're going to summon the bullfrog to stop that one doing any damage to us. That one will anyway, but that's fine. We can sort that out later. So we put a squirrel down, sacrifice that for the stunted wolf. This is a very unbonesy deck, this is. Like, the bone coins have no bearing on our build at the moment. Uh, the mantas actually can't hit me, apparently, by the way, which is quite funny. I need to get some more uh, squirrels out. Okay. Did I just get a bee for damaging their beehive? What? <laughs> I definitely also got a bee when they struck my beehive though, right? <laughs> Weird. Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. It's gonna appear. They won't that won't attack it, it'll just go over his head, which is nice. The Mothman cometh. The Mothman he doth awake. You can't stop the Mothman. You concede? No! I'm teabagging you for the points! <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Okay. Oh shit. Mothman prophecies. Um. Ooh, we could get another. We might get another card from that one. Could do some power swapping. Someone I really want to power swap with right now. So I think I'm gonna go this way. Trial of health. The free card draw must have at least six health. Not that one. I think probably blood. Uh, yeah, I think we're gonna go with blood. Let's hope we get the shark again. Really? <laughs> really? You pull, you pull the wolf, you pull the pelt out for that draw, you fucking idiot. All right, up the power, up the power. Let's see, who do we want to up the power on? Possibly the great white. Maybe the strange lava. So we can attack while it's building up. Probably the great white. Bullfrog, maybe? No. We're gonna combine the bull. Although, I don't know if up in the stats and the bullfrog will fuck up the combining them thing. Maybe the wolf cub, actually, with its flying abilities. Let's do that. Alright. 
Okay. Still got a good amount of items, which is really nice. Uh, what have these guys got? Oh, they all got... Get stronger powers. Okay. Oh god, those ants could be a bugger. And they're gonna have two damage they do as well. I'm almost tempted to just hold off to to get the great white out. <laughs> or is it like five hits you can take? One, two, yeah, it's like five. So that's two. okay. So they. I'd be on, like, one hit left if I didn't do anything. Oh, this is a really bad one. Steal a ringworm. I think the stealing it just pulls it to that side. Also, I don't know if you can steal it when they're up there. Must have an empty space on your side. I don't know if you can, like... No, it like sounds, that, that makes it sound like it just pulls it over to your side. If wise, I'd totally put the ring one there and have the squirrel by there. This is not great. Unless I did this to give myself a bit of leeway. Stab myself in the eye. I think I'm gonna put the bullfrog here in order to kill this so it doesn't just get powerful and that's something, I guess. I don't even know how you're supposed to survive this. <laughs> it's like, like, what? It's all right. I can, I'll carry on past this fight. I won't die, die. But like, this is fucking horrendously difficult. Like, I could use the fish hook, I suppose, to fish hook this over to my side. But even then, I still think I'm dead. Christ, what a rough. Like, that just began horribly. I have. I can take two hits. Uh, I can't steal both ants, so stealing an ant is a waste of the hook. I could steal an ant, cut it up, never one up with scissors. I could stab myself in the eye, uh, buy myself more time. I feel like using all those up on this is a bit of a waste, to be honest. Plus, I've got these guys are going to attack me afterwards anyway. The skink and the mantis are going to come after me. Because the skink's going to do one. And you've got the workaround behind that. Uh, okay, let's, all right, now let's use them, fuck it. Oh, no, it didn't. <laughs> well, oh, it fucks with their thing as well. It doesn't, the overall ounce don't count. Now I guess we could cut up that. Oh, no, that still fucks us over because of this. I have to put you down there to soak up damage. Because he's gonna do two damage like that. 
Oh my god. I mean, I guess we could put the shock down. Gotta put the shark down where it can hit them or I'm gonna die anyway. So it's like one, two, three. How much damage that's gonna do? I'm putting you there. And I could cut up the ant. I don't know what the ringworm's gonna turn into. Oh, and that doesn't do any damage now because of the thing. I forgot. Oh no, it's an ant queen now. Ah oh, no. I think we're dead. I could stab myself, that might save us a bit a bit. It seems like a lot for a random fight, doesn't it? Give myself a good old stabbing. Fuck it, I'm stabbing myself in the eye. Yeah, I wasn't sure. I guess it put it to there. One, two, three, four. So that's definitely saved me. Lessen the damage of that as well. Okay, that's good. That's good. It's too late. The Mothman is born. <laughs> the Mothman is born. You can't stop the Mothman. He's born now. Save us, Mothman, save us! Oh man, the Mothman is a, the Mothman is a strong, strong ally. I would love a new eye, thank you very much. I missed with them. Yeah, I think these are just blood markings. You're still curious. Just that we'd be getting those cards in your deck. Yes, I know about this. Know about this. Keep sealed. Could it be you have the master's eye? Does it does that mean the master can see me? Magnificus? Can you see me? Can you free me? Feed him once more, that should do it. He has no idea what you have up your sleeve. Is 
there a double pupil eye? Yeah, it looked like it. Man, I'm survive. I'm amazed that we managed to survive that. Kingfisher, Alpha, Ada. We have so many now. They're falling out. Um, my Alpha might be a bad idea. We, you know, we've been acquiring. We quite we acquire those bones. It might be actually nice to have something to spawn. With the bones. Alright, health. What oh, needs a bit more health? Strange lava could be could be good for the health. Keep it alive a bit longer, you know? So it can hit so it can hit its hit like a absolute fucking truck. I think we're gonna go with that one. All right, boss time. Let's do this. Fishy lad. The mud tugged at your feet, forcing you to slow your pace. A rank odor caused your stomach to churn and your eyes to water. It was the rotting fish that hung from the branches around you. A huge man approached. Go fish. Go fish again, boys. Greetings. Uh, right, so what we got? What we got? Kingfisher. Okay. Kingfisher. So he'll just keep doing damage to me because <laughs> I'll be, we'll be able to stop that. So that's great. Um, so all I can really do with the Kingfisher out is kind of just stick it down and hope that we get some use out of it. A pack rat. Ooh, you tell what, because some of the pack rat, that's not a bad idea. Got some scissors. Do that. Do that, you shithead. That's right. You're just gonna take your kingfisher off the board. That's what you're, that's what you're about to do. <laughs> you little fucker. Good first round. Very good first round. Oh, fucking bait bucket. Oh, shit, I forgot. If, does he always put them there? I can't really, if he does, I was a fool to do that. Uh, I'd like to. I can't. I, I guess they they just transform once you've kind of done them. Yeah, I don't know if they're always in the middle. I think it might be a good idea to sacrifice one of these. Probably you. In order to, um... In order to maybe not pop it, pop out. Right, he should die now. Oh, no, because he only takes two health. He just takes one, not two. Shit. Damn it, he just puts them wherever. He just puts them, like, wherever he wants. <laughs> He's a son of a bitch. Uh, you know, I'm tempted to put the rabbit pelt down. And then sacrifice them and put the wolf there. Cut up a shark. Oh, yeah, I could cut up a shark. 
Good call, good call. All right, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna put the rabbit pelt down, and I'm gonna. Oh, you fucking son of a bitch! You, re you really, you can't do that. All right, fine. Guess you can't sacrifice those. They can just they act as a buffer, I suppose. All right, so put the scroll down there. Sacrifice those two. Put you there. Beautiful. Beautiful. I think he puts I think he just puts them down wherever you are. So you're always gonna hit him. So you just what you wanna be doing is you wanna be sacrificing cards to pull him away from attacking. The douse, the geck, and the strange another strange lava. Ooh, sticking them together, that would be interesting. I mean, they just have a little more health. But, um... Hmm. Then again, also having, like, two strange larvae down. Both powering up. Would also be very good. Two mothmen on the board. I mean, the bellist is pretty interesting. With putting down two bells that you can then sacrifice. Does that fuse the Mothman? I would imagine the Mothman... The only thing you get out of fusing the larvae would be health. So... The, and the Mothman's health doesn't change. It just... The damage just goes up. And since neither of them have any damage to start with, the damage of the Mothman wouldn't change. They would just get more health. And I think I gave the larvae five health, so it would have, like, eight health. The mo not the not the larvae, but wait, no, hang on. yeah, no, the larvae would have eight health because the other larvae has five because I upgraded it. I'm pretty sure. I can't look at it. Yeah, the health of the larvae goes to Mothman, but in fact, the health of the larvae, yeah, but the damage, I, the damage just seems to be a set thing. I think this is interesting for. Sacrifice stuff, but I think I'm gonna go with these. I'm gonna go with the larvae. Larvae, larvae, larvae. All right, here we are again. You guess that the path ahead is a snowy, increasingly obscured it. You had to climb the snow line. I see no mushroom things, which is a little annoying. All right, what's this one? Oh, it's the pelt lady! Rabbit pelt. Oh, okay. It didn't get destroyed, so I guess we kept it. Hair pelts, right. Okay. Uh... Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. The adder, the sparrow. The weird squiggly creature of the depths. Whose damage is dependent on turns, I guess. Uh, Bloodhound, Beehive. Beehive is pretty good. We do not have the Mole Man, no. The Bloodhound is a def the Guardian, I think it was, yeah. When, it's, when a frozen creature is placed opposite to an empty space, a guard bearing this sigil will move to that empty space. So it just like covers areas, basically. Um, that's the sunrise. Oh, that that is uh, that's like uh, spike damage. So if you damage them, they do one damage back to you. Like four, yeah, like fawns. Uh, like is this, yeah, it makes sense. It's a porcupine. Punch a porcupine. I'm sure it would hit. <laughs> No, no, I'm not usually into deck builders, but this one's been absolutely entrancing. It's got, it's, it's the weird vibe it's got that I'm really sucked into, where it's just like, <laughs> it's just got such an eerie vibe to it. Um, let's, let's take the porcupine in the hopes we can power something up. 
<gasps> a second great white? A moose buck? With the stink power? Oh my god, there's a lot of things happening here. Unkillable. Pronghorns. Uh, oh good lord. Uh, corpse maggots? What the fuck? If a creature that you own perishes by combat, a card bearing this sigil in your hand is automatically played in its place. That's interesting. Mm, I mean, I don't want too many red blood things is the problem as well. Elk fawn. Many layers. Ooh, that could be handy. And it evolves as well. I think I'm going to go with that one. Is that a golden pelt? It is. Oh, <gasps> what the fuck? just a stick. <laughs> That's just a stick. Why is the gek... Dude, what is that? What is up with the gek, man? I feel like I should take the gek. Like, the gek has been, like... There's, there's, there's something going on with this gek. Another larvae as well. I mean, can you imagine that? Like, having, like, free larvae going? Free mothmen on the board? The Gek is free. Yeah, the Gek is like a free, like a freebie. It, it, that is, it is pretty strong. Maybe it evolves into something really good, yeah. <laughs> the third Mothman. Just a board of Mothmen. All growing out. I'm going to go with the gag. I'm going to go with the gag. I guess that freebie is, is it's a good thing, you know. Right, what we got, what we got. Uh, definitely black goat. Uh, I'll take frozen opossum. And I'll take another frozen opossum. Black goat is great. Easy shark, you know. Lucky draw. Okay. Uh, what do we got? Raven egg. Raven egg. Elk fawn. Um, I gotta give it two turns for it to like kick into high gear. If I put it, if I put it down like here, and let it start building up, and then go, <laughs> and start firing off all over the place. You could, yeah, upgrade the gack and make a really good free card. That's a, that's really true. I got, I can, yeah, I'm see, I'm seeing what you mean with that. Um, Alpha's pretty good. I think getting rid of these should definitely be important. I think we're going to get the stoat out because I don't want the ravens sitting around because I think they'll really fuck us up. Because they'll start, they're airborne and they're too damaged, I think. And so they'll, they'll really start fucking us up. It takes two turns for it to fully evolve, though. This only takes one turn. But it should. Uh, it's too, too. I don't know if it lasts long enough. Because uh, I think they do two damage when they evolve. Okay, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it down there. If for no other, even if it dies, it will have served a purpose of keeping our health safe. So, 
I'm gonna do that. It is too damage. Oh no, what am I talking about? It flies over us, so it's gonna fly. Yeah, fucking, I'm talking. Idiot. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Oh, and that's not gonna hit him anyway. Oh, God. I keep forgetting that they fly over and shit like that. Uh, oh, yeah, okay, it's gonna be interesting. Oh, I've gotta hold out now for a turn or two. Okay, so he'll kill him. Right, uh... Okay. Mothman, the Mothman is here. The Mothman is here. He'll do seven damage. He'll kill that, but it won't go all the way through. Um... I don't I can't see... I can't see how much we have. There we go. So one, two, we can take two. So he'll kill him, but then he'll kill us. So we have to stop him doing damage to us. So I guess the only way to do that would be to just stick a fucking uh, squirrel in front of him. Oh no, we won't kill him. Right, hang on, no, hang on. Oh no, hang on, mate, no, hang on, right. Oh no, I keep forgetting, right, I gotta remember this shit. I'm so bad at this. Right. He'll just fly over and do seven. So he'll do one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so that's gonna push it. Oh, okay, never mind. Sorry, it does me being silly and forgetting how the mechanics work again. Uh, all right, let's put a squirrel down. Sacrifice these two. And then we'll summon the alpha. All right, there we go. There we go. <laughs> Did I, I under, I, I, the flying mechanic, like sometimes just like my head just ignores that it exists. You stop what you were doing and watch that Austin Powers in Mass Effect video. Did you love it, Wandering Falcon? Mothman. Right, so that is the get pelts, which we have. You know, I guess we might as well, I suppose. It's not like we don't have a shitload of these. <laughs> And I will actually use them to defend myself during the fights, even though they're gonna bloat about the a bit. Right, let's see. So, what do we want to do here? <laughs> let's power up the wolf pelt. I've seen the Sopranos and Skyrim videos. I have not. No. There is also no video with that guy that made the Mass Effect. Uh, the, the, there's, a, there's a guy who made the Mass Effect Awesome Powers video that also made um, American Psycho in uh, Fallout, which is Fallout 4, which is also very good. <laughs> Gecko. Oh, Gecko. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gecko Alpha. Ooh, that's not a bad shout. That's like a free, yeah, that's like a freebie alpha. Ooh. Yeah, that's a really good, oh shit. Yeah, that's a good shout. Let's do that. Like just a, like a freebie alpha card. That's sick. Oh my God. You guys are on the ball. You're on the ball. Is that shark still in my deck, or have I just... <laughs> I haven't seen the shark in a while. Jesus Christ. What did the f... 
What the fuck do you have there? Oh my god, he's got the moose buck. He's got the moose buck and the mole man. Ah. That's a that's 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 a hell of a that's a hell of a hand. Moose buck and the, oh my god. So he'll go down there, attack, and then move over there? Is that is that how that works? Or does he go down, attack, and then on the next turn move and attack? So go, he'll attack, come down, and then move in one turn? Or he'll come down, attack, wait, and then next turn attack, and then move? Seven health as well, fucking hell. That's rough. The mole man also defends him. No, no, the mole man defends... The mole man doesn't defend him, the mole man defends empty spaces. The mole man doesn't just defend anyone, he only defends empty spaces, so he won't get in the way of the moose bug. Also got the frozen opossum. Got this rabbit pelt. I can shit the rabbit pelt down and just kind of soak up damage. Right, I'm gonna put the squirrel down here, and I'm gonna put the I'm gonna summon the stone and put it there. Then I'm gonna put the rabbit pelt there, and we're gonna say that's good. Okay, that's good. That's re okay. So that's actually really good because that means that we'll do a bit of damage before he just fucks off and murders us, basically. <laughs> uh, okay. Right. Squirrel. Put you down, bullfrog, and then we're gonna try and kill the mole man a bit. Or we could. Will the moment just push off the moment? Will the moose push off the moment? No. It can only. It won't. It won't. I don't think it'll, it'll just stay there now. Uh, I think I'm gonna go here just for like a little extra bit of damage. Oh no, that won't work. Oh, whoops. Oh, well, that's just gonna move the mole man there and. Oh. Oh no! My, oh yeah, that just that made things like a million times worse the way I did that. <laughs> that was that was a terrible idea. The strange lava might be might be good to use the frozen possum. Take, take some damage. Uh, Alright, I think we're gonna... Sacrifice the bullfrog. For the larvae. And then I think that'll do for now. Maybe we could put a second frozen possum down. Defend us a bit more. Oh no, he's pushing that way! Oh, she's, his arms moved. Oh, no, but he won't move. No, okay, that's fine, that's fine, I think. <laughs> Pretty sure he won't move. Okay, good, good, good. It's not really what I wanted. Become the possum. The Mothman arises. I think we're good now. I'm pretty sure with. I'm pretty sure he's just gonna go straight. Oh no, he's gonna block it. Oh, of course, he's gonna block it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Son of a bitch. Oh, you think this is over? <laughs> oh, bitch, this ain't over. Uh, I think I'm gonna let him absorb another hit, and then Strange Larvae maybe next turn. Oh! <gasps> 
Oh. Okay, so, uh, right, he'll fly over. Right, I think we've won. Yeah, he'll just. Okay, we've won. Never mind. We'll just we'll just do a little bit of tea bags in. See what happens. Do enough. Yeah, that Mothman is very good. That Mothman is ridiculous. Like, once he's out, seven damage flying overhead. Unless I'm like, unless I'm really close to death, they're dead. Because <laughs> they can only take, like, fight. It's Lewis again. <gasps> the monstrous grizzly. Oh, Louis. Oh, Louis, Louis. Whoa, whoa. Hey, gotta go. Boom, boom. Uh, Kingfisher Grizzly. The Grizzly now, unfortunately, again, very hard to, to fucking spawn. Who is Lewis? I have no idea who Lewis is. Kingfisher is a good one, yeah. I'm gonna get the Kingfisher out. What we got? Damage up? Okay. Oh, great white. I feel like I haven't seen you in a long time. I think we'll, uh, we'll up the power of the Gek, I think. I think that's we, we that's, that's kind of why we picked the Gek, you know, so we could do shit like that. Soak up some hits, my man. It's probably better I do use these, honestly, because otherwise my deck's gonna get just like really overly bloated. <laughs> I'm kind. Of, I was like, like really hoping that the the shark would appear. <laughs> like I was like, come on, shark, just just appear, shark. Uh, I mean, we could have put black go to some larvae, but that seems kind of silly. So I think we'll just pelt up bones. I guess so. Yeah. Uh, so you'll kill that, and then. You'll move and attack, but you'll probably kill because I guess you'll transform. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Ooh, yikes. I think that can absorb enough hits to keep us alive. Oh no, never mind. <laughs> that's not that's not good. That's not good at all. Um Alright, this better be something good. Uh, okay, I have to, so I have to use the black goat in order to survive this. Black goat, porcupine, kill the elk fawn. Oh no, 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 that's gonna get me killed anyway. Oh no, I think I'm fucked. Yeah, no, I think I'm fucked. 
I mean, I... No. Oh, no, I can't do the black. I have to sacrifice for the black goat anyway. I always forget that the black goat is not just, like, a freebie. Um... Yeah, no, I guess squirrel... Nah, no, squirrel would have been a better choice, actually. No, no, it doesn't matter what I put down, I was gonna die. Nah, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Gross, get off my screen! Horrible gross spider. Yeah, I know, because that's gonna hit me. That's gonna hit me. I can't really stop them. Look, I can't stop them all. How have you not been hit yet? I'm confused. <laughs> Shouldn't you have been hit by now? Not much I can do, unfortunately. Ooh, I can flick these around if I want to. If only it lasts long enough. But luckily, we're not out, out, so that's okay. Pity. Boss is like right there. Oh shit, the moose bug. The raven, I mean the raven's a pretty good one. Mole's a nice defense. I think the mole. Alright, we're coming to the boss. Uh, I guess we'll do frozen possum. And, ooh, let's turn this and I'll skip my... What? Okay, yes. <laughs> uh, yes. All right, here we go. A man stood before you, a man you recognized immediately. It was the trapper. You reached out to examine his ways, but he stopped you. Sorry, but today you will supply the pelts. Oh my god, that's so many knives. I am terrified of what his thing's gonna be. The Great White! Strange frog. Okay. I feel like we just kind of just go ham with with the thing, right? <laughs> we go squirrel, black goat to great white. Knock him down straight away to the next phase. Hope that it's not that bad. Leaping trap, like what's that? When a card bearing the sigil pushes the creature opposing it, perishes as well. Okay. The pelt is created in your hand. And to that can't stop, like, those could stop the... Yeah, no, they, they can't stop that. Um... I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Do it, Great White. Fuck him up. Might even put the possum down as well, just as a bit of defense. Well, I don't know what's gonna happen when I damage him. Pull him out of my hand. If I was to totally skip the next turn. I mean, we could do that. Intro, if we did that... Would, would we just destroy him, like, straight away? <laughs> like, we'll damage him, make him skip the next turn, shark comes out again. I don't know if their cards will come down if they skip a turn. I assume they will. Because I'll do that, knock to phase two. Tell them to skip their turn. 
So they'll skip their first turn of phase two. Music is badass. We also don't know what's going to happen when I attack him. Do it for the vine. Pass my next turn. Exquisite pelts, but the cycle must continue. Let's trade. What the fuck am I seeing? Train for what you can, but know this, the rest will stay and fight for me. Oh my god! Well, I want that. <laughs> I don't want you having that, please. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I guess that as well. If I like don't kill those and just let them sit there. <laughs> Touch of death. Oh yeah, that is scary, you're right. Oh shit. Yeah, I'm taking the elk. Uh okay. I think we can summon a second Great White. If I... If I hold off putting the squirrel down, and then... I'm... yeah, I think, I think I've got this. I'm obligated to pass. Yes! Because we made them pass the turn! For the vine! Ah, oh, You fucking... Oh wait, no. Wait. Oh no, because that's not alive. Oh shit. Fuck myself a bit there. Because I can't sacrifice. Because I can't sacrifice that, can I? Yeah, I was thinking I could summon the Deaf Elk. Can I sacrifice that? Oh, oh no, okay. I might have won anyway, actually. Never mind. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the the elk or this the shark will just one shot now. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I can just win. That ti that timer is insanely powerful. Reignite. Perhaps one of these will entice you. I don't even know what that guy's thing was. Jesus. Ouroboros. The eternal serpent. Death strengthens it forever. Oh, shit. So every time it dies, it comes back stronger. The eternal... The eternal serpent eating its own tail. I also do love the mantis god. Oh... Sticking a fucking sticking that on a shark would just be insane. Sticking that on the Mothman would be insane. Oh my god. 
Eternal on the Gak. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Eternal Gak. Oh, no, we've got the Alpha thing on the Gak. I don't know how many we can stick on it. I kind of like the idea of a triple attack on a Mothman, to be honest. I think that would be insane. And it's only... Yeah, I think that would be really good. The Mothman Mantis God. Man, how much more is there? With the enigmatic trapper and trader now bleeding into the snow, you per you perished. You persisted. You could see a light in the distance. The end is near. A moment. Ooh. That's the that's the one we move the powers over, isn't it? Mantis God. <laughs> On the strange larvae. This seems far too powerful. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that seems outrageous. Your eyes have fixed themselves on the small cabin. It is a warm light, a beacon in the oppressive darkness of the night. Surely, surely this cabin marked the end of your tra travails. Oh, don't scare me. I don't like jump scares, they'll scare me a lot. Oh, okay. Ah! Step away from the strange cabin. You were presented with an opportunity. Step away from the, you step away from an opportunity. Don't, I don't offer my boons to just any traveler. If you're able to pass my trials, you'll be rewarded mightily. Trial of the Find. The three drawn cards must include a card with the Waterborne Sigil. Trial of the Ring. If you have a ring, you pass automatically. Oh, shit, I have a ring! The Trial of the Swift. The three drawn cards must include a card with the spr Sprinter Sigil. I got the fucking ring, bro. Let the Trial of the Ring begin. Oh, you are wearing a fine ring. You may pass. <laughs> I will grant you one of those powerful boons. Oh! <gasps> Cards that dramatically alter the game, and you don't even need to draw them. The boon of the goat's blood. You will start a battle with a black goat on the board. The boon of the ambidextrous. You may draw twice at the beginning of your turn. Boon of the magpie's eye. When you draw from your deck, you may choose any card in your deck to draw. Those are all really good. I, these two. <laughs> uh, like, being able to pick twice would be amazing, but then being able to pick any card I want from my deck sounds insane. Mothman. But being able to pick twice, though, because then I could pick both a... Squirrel and like a normal card. Um, I mean, I because I don't know like what I'm gonna fight because I the Mothman's got to survive as well, but yeah, that's true. I mean. You just immediately go in your deck, pick the mock, moth man. The mock man? Pick the moth man. Put him down. Hope that you survive the next couple of rounds, and then... 
But then, like, being able to pick two cards twice the beginning of the turn, I, I do really like that. Does that mean I can... Does, can I pick from, like, different decks? Draw from your deck, you may choose any card in your deck. Ooh, I'm a bit stuck on that one. I like them both, honestly. I'm gonna go for double cards. Trial the skins. Trial the winged. Trial the rarity. Trial the skins. What did, wait, what, did, what was the skins one? I won't let me look at them again. Ooh, there's a thing there that says 11. <laughs> it was in like pelts? Yeah, I clicked on that one too fast. I was a bit of a fool. Uh, I do have pelts, I'm pretty sure. The wing. I do have a lot of winged, I think. Uh, rarity. Let's tell me. Yeah, let's go with the pelts. Damn it, damn it, damn it! Failure. You managed to get a boon. This may be a fair competition. Took your time out there, and I'm itching for another game. You ready to play? I hope you are adequately prepared. Perhaps one more to be safe. You son of a bitch, that's not fair. Music, dude. You son of a bitch. Free damage. Put the wolf pelt down to take the hit. And then I'm gonna spawn the wolf on the next turn to kill him before he can kill me. Because if I put the wolf down now, he'll just he'll just kill me. He'll just attack the killer wolf. I mean I'll do free damage, but then he'll just kill the wolf and I'll be like fuck. Yeah, the masks, that's gonna it's gonna be fun. Uh Supernias, thank you for the eight months of support. All right, so we'll kill the amalgam.
You can take the hit from him. Oh, nice. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, he can just... Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, shit. There it is. Wubba lubba dub dub! Hey, Mr. B. This game looks neat. Hey, Toto, thank you for 38 months. It is, it's really cool. All right, uh. This is gonna be interesting. I have no items. Yeah, I have no items. Pull that up. Pull that up. Actually, you won't be able to now I think about it. That's fine. I just need something to take the hit there. Be born, Mothman! Oh, okay. <laughs> right. This is good. This is some good shit. The Mothman is born. one round done. Now what happens now? That's the question. You cap you capably endured the onslaught of rare creatures. But the true challenge was forthcoming. Shadowy figures appeared before you. In their eyes glimmered a recognition of kinship, but coloured by guilt. They were betraying you. I remember that one finally. Oh, it's Reginald and Kaminsky. Who the, who the fuck are these people? <laughs> Who the fuck is Reginald and Kaminsky? Good betrayal, bro. <laughs> Good betrayal, bro. I don't even know who you are. This damn moon. It's dramatic, yes. It provides no value to my board. Oh, what's gonna happen now though? I'm, he's gonna do something that's just gonna destroy him off, man. I wonder. Um, what? Now that is value. Do you just, do you just put the moon on the board? A card bearing the sigil will strike each opposing space that's occupied by a creature. It will strike directly if no creatures oppose it. What the fuck? Thank you. 
Well, I'm certainly hoping that the Mothman hits it seven times. <laughs> hits it for every single bit of damage. Okay, we've got two meth, mo mo two meth man? Two meth men coming in now. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, he... Alright, okay, yeah, that, that card is broken as shit. Oh my god. That card is insanely broken. Oh my god. Just gonna put that there to keep us a bit of... Keeps a bit of health there. Yeah, okay. Really destroyed the moon. Suppose all that's left is finish me off. Go on. <laughs> I kind of can't believe how insanely strong the Mothman is. That's like broken strong. <laughs> Fuck the moon. I'm the moth man. Oh my, did I just, I think I just beat him. Oh. What the fuck was that? What? This is glorious. This is so gloriously weird. What is this? Hey there, card gamers. I'm the Lucky Carter, and this is another pack opening video. Today, I am opening Catch Monsters pack. Oh shit, he's an influencer. Epic, shiny Transcend Dog! And here I'll add some crazy VFX with lightning bolts or something. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I am about to open my first pack. Feeling good about this one. Feeling real good. This is bizarre. Ooh, this is really weird. <laughs> okay, and our first rare is a Birchkin. Not exactly a viable competitive card, but hey, it's a pretty one. All right. Next pack. Feeling even yeah, this is very, this is very on brand for this say, developer. Are feeling extra silky today? I mean, they're so smooth. Not sure what they're doing down there at the uh, the card factory, but um, these are feeling good in my hands. This person is doing okay. a very good job of mimicking card opening videos. Like some jank cards. Really good. <laughs> <laughs> including the just nonsense shit you say and randomly to fill time. I'm not doing that in the factory, but it's very smooth. Bandog. Bandog. Not exactly riveting so far, but we have many packs to go. Dog, dog, dog. Bug, bug, bug. Next pack, here bug we and come. dog. Oh, the old Nokia thought. No, that's, that's, the old, that's the old Nokia ringtone. Diddle doo doo, diddle doo doo, diddle doo doo doo. Hey there, card gamers! I'm the Lucky Carter, and this is a vintage pack opening video. Today I'm opening a few super rare old packs I snagged at a garage sale. I've got four packs of inscriptions. You can even hit cars in the background. You would not believe the deal I got on these. Now, not all of you will even remember this game. I'm barely old enough to have uh, seen these going around in my childhood. Uh, for whatever reason, they only did one set of these cards and then stopped printing them. Uh, there's not a huge market for them anymore, but at the rate wonder, of this must, this must, this must like tie into the game somehow or something like that. That being said, like a foil mantis god goes for a couple hundred bucks. Mantis god, that's one of the cards. I wouldn't be surprised if he's like one of the guys that's stuck inside of a card. Really cool art on these. Definitely stands the test of time. And our rare for this pack is blue mage. Oh, blue mage. Cool looking card but not going to be worth very much. 
You, you reckon he's the stoat? Yeah, I reckon he's the stoat. Let's see what we got going on in the second pack. Huh. Uh, this pack has been opened and resealed. Hope no one snuck the rare out of it. That would suck. Like something's gonna happen, basically, and he's gonna get Come sucked on, into boss. this, like. Who opens and reseals a pack? Yeah, it's kind of crazy they made the cards. I wonder if they actually like sell the cards. Yeah. There's a set of coordinates on this card. Oh my god, it's an uh, it's, it's an arg. Looks like they were drawn on with a pen. 49 degrees north, 123 degrees west. Uh, I think. I'd have to check, but I think that's pretty nearby. <laughs> yeah, I was like, man, you know, you know your coordinates really well. <laughs> I'm out here living my best life. Hey, Jack. Got my trusty headlamp and shovel. I'll just go to where the coordinates say on this card I found in a pack. Seems like a great idea. Whew. There we go. He's doing it. He's doing it for the vine, you know. Doing it for the vine. Okay. Whew. Getting close. He used to say doing it for the vine. I think. Assuming there is a thing to get close to. This very well may be. A massive waste of. Oh, just like I'm gonna find these coordinates and I'm gonna floss on top of them. Okay. All right. That's why you always bring an extra battery, boys and girls. Every time. You gotta come prepared. Okay. We check through the actual coordinates. Any of the dev city underwater? Oh. Someone get some scuba right. gear. This is it. And now. We dig. Good digging, bro. <laughs> I give a 75% chance it's a rock. But only one way to so I, It's often how I dig. I just kind of hold it, stab down like a, like a knife. <laughs> but I mean, he did find something, so I guess it works. Is that now see this is the point where I'd oh be God, like you guys I can't believe it I'd be like I'm out there's actually something here I'm out I found a I found a corpse I'm out I've I found coordinates on a card and I found something buried in the ground I am out <laughs> I feel like you'd start digging and then you start you like poke around it immediately start poking encryption what? inscription oh unless this is the like the thing at the beginning where he says, let's see if this works, what's on this what game. The what the fuck? Guys, are you seeing this? <laughs> I am out. I have found a creepy I'm, floppy. Uh, I'm a little confused. <laughs> yeah, I'd probably be fucking running for my life as well. <laughs> I'd be like, yeah, I'm out. Cheaper than a fire, cheaper than a film steamboat wow, wheel. Okay, time to figure out what's on this thing. Yeah, you can get floppy drive. You can um, you can get USB floppy drives. I've got one. Never used it, but I got one. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's what we had at the start of the game. Oh, that's why the that's why the the UI was so strange. <laughs> uh, that makes a lot more sense. Do not celebrate often, and I seldom give gifts. But you, challenger, you are worthy. Please do not be polite. Dig in. Is there something wrong? The prize awaits. I, what is it? It looks like a pile of shit. <laughs> Very well. Come with me. Stand right there. Who gave you that? You were absolute ingrate! Oh! Oh! Well, that was fucking terrifying. Jesus Christ. I guess I could probably go back to the start screen. I think I just unlocked a new game. I did get a new game, yeah. Because a, a new game was missing when I started this. In the beginning, the world did not know car- Is this Frog Fractions free? That is, until the day Scribes appeared, arrived. Oh, it's the people from the cards! Each had their own method of inscription to create cards. Grimora used her quill to inscribe the epitaphs of the dead. Leshy used his wildlife camera to capture beasts. Oh, that's the guy. PO3 used a particle scanner to copy the CPUs of robots. And Magnificus used his brush to paint his wizard's his wizard pupils. With the card created, with the cards created, the scribes had solidified their power. Until one day, a challenger arrived to replace one of the scribes. Starting deck to mark your ambition. What the fuck is going on? Uh, I'll have robo guys, I guess. Your ambition is to replace PO3 and become the scribe of technology. Sure. The cards were added to your collection. What is this? Oh, this is, um, this is, this is what was on the globe. 
This is this was on the this was on the globe. Um the in the in the cabin. Oof. I was just about to call it quits out here. But now that there's a challenger in our midst, it's back to work for me. I should be able to get this bridge fixed in full disclosure, it's gonna take me exactly as long as it takes you to defeat one of the scribes. So, like, um, come back later? Okay. Oof, it's hard to get back into the swing of things after a long break. Gotta gather that momentum. Look, you seem like a fine enough player, so I'll fill you in a bit. These scribes are, like, crazy out here. Always at each other's necks, like, desperate struggle for power, you know. Just stay out of it. You you don't want to end up like them. Oof, time to get back to work. Time to get... Oof. 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 You know, you, you, you got to check. This is mad. <laughs> this is mad. I know. <laughs> My Steam title is still very apt. I don't know what this is. You're here. Marvelous. I'm Grimora, scribe of the dead. Until quite recently, I was disgraced. Though I was returned to my former glory with the help of some unlikely friends. Yeah, that's the, that's the, um... That's, that, that was the... Beaver guy? The stink bug, yeah, sorry, stink bug. If you wish to test your skills against me, you must first prove your wits. You must discern which tomb marks the final resting place of my lovely ghouls. <laughs> okay. Brr, did someone leave the AC on? Oh, come on, dude. It's freezing in here. Maybe a heated battle will help. Oh, something's wrong. It's your deck, or rather your lack of a valid one. You've got 20 cards in it, right? Oh. That looks much better. Where were we? Yep, I'm PO free, okay? You picked up my starter deck. That means you have to learn to use energy. Do I really have to explain this to you? At the start of each turn, you increase your max energy. Spend it or not, doesn't matter. At the start of your turn, your energy refills to the max. What the fuck? This is mad. This is absolutely mad. I love this game. I need to play his other game. I've never played his other stuff. I need to play his other stuff. If there anything, if there anything like this bonkers, then I need to play them. I know I've not played Pony Island. I've seen a little bit of some people play it, but I've never played Pony Island, and I've uh, I've never played Hex either. I've never even seen Hex. Damn, man, this is awesome. Yeah, I guess each card deck is played like completely differently. Get it? Okay. 4 niner. 40 niner. At the end of the owner's turn, 40 niner will move in the direction inscribed in the sigil. Thick droid. So I looks like I only have one power. Automaton. You don't have enough energy to play that at the start of each turn. Your max energy increases. Your energy just Okay, we'll just, I guess we'll just stick down. Uh, you for now? See that? You spent your energy to play the card, but you get it back next turn. 
Sick of hearing from me? Well, I'm sick of talking. I got important work to do. You'll see me later. This is mad. What the fuck is that? I don't know what that is. I'm in there. Do that. Get rid of you. Oh no! Oh, whoops. <laughs> well, now I know what it does. It's gone collapsed into a pile of bones. Well, <laughs> I wanted to know what it does, so now I know. Interesting, you destroy him. The drow releases the creature inside. Ah. Oh, so they just die right after being used. Oh, I see. Oh, I'm dead. Revenant collapsed into a pile of bones. Brr, nope, I'm still cold. Expecting this. You wish to trade? Burn here. I wonder what those were. Deathly pack. A pack containing one rare and two common deathly cards. And two common cards of any type. Wow. This is amazing. Shifted through the bones and found a card pack. Ooh. See the deathly card pack. Ghost ship. Oh, okay. Mage knight. Bloodhound. When an opposing creature is a person. Okay. Okay. Cards right into your collection. Oh. I guess you can play with lots of different things. If Mage Knight owners control no Mox cards, Mage Knight perishes. What the fuck is a Mox card? And it's a Bones. Oh, I see. It does the... Oh, right. So different things require different mechanics. We never had Energy before, or that one, but these two existed. Bones and Blood. Huh. Wow. Oh no, oh no, do not look upon me. Do not snarl or sniff, I beg you. If you wish to battle, please let us get it over with. Space. Oh, he just killed me. <laughs> he just killed me in like one hit. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. These are all like extremely strong. Fucking hell. What are these on the floor? Piece of an appetite reads eaten by a hungry dog. You found a piece of an appetite. It reads does not hold a grudge. Wow. 
Ooh, salmon. Got a direction. Oh, thank you. Anyway, um, I think... <laughs> I mean, this seems like a pretty good place to stop for now. I definitely want to continue playing this game, but I think I'll jump off for now and because Jazz will be back in a bit and I'll sort some food out for the two of us. But yeah, this is, this has been really fun. Like, really, really fun. Like, Jesus. I don't know what I expected going into this game, but it wasn't this. <laughs> it's quite funny, all the, all the, uh, the trailers for this did hid this completely, which is quite amazing. Yeah. This is mad. It's alright, Jack. I'll I'll play it next time. It's it's okay. This is like the Pokemon trading card game for the Game Boy. Yeah, it is kind of like that, actually, Jagermans. That's that's a pretty Jagermans. That's actually a pretty good comparison. Yeah, no, that's this is mad. I'm looking forward to seeing where else this goes. Yeah, definitely. This has definitely made me want to go back and play the developers of the games. Because uh, I know that they do quite weird meta stuff. But yeah, this is this is bonkers. Um, yeah. Thank you for watching, though, everybody. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for everybody who came in. Lo lots of people I've never seen before jumping in the chat, which is really lovely. Um, but yeah, if you're not doing so already, don't forget to follow the channel. I usually go live about 12, but sometimes it's like 1-ish because I've got stuff to do. Um, but yeah. 